Hello, friends. Good morning. All right, yo. I think uh, I think I'm pretty much good to go. Hold on. Yeah, seems good. How's everyone doing today? Hello. Good morning. First YouTube. Your first YouTube stream. Yo, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Today I'm listening to some Bardcore music on Twitch, so you guys won't be able to hear that, but that's okay. How's everyone doing, man? Greetings, my lord. Greetings. Um, yeah, today. Today, we are going to be trying something Bardcore, okay? Bardcore. It's where they, they just take popular songs and they play medieval flutes and shit instead um today we are going to try something that uh, some people have said is pretty much impossible so we're going to try it though and i actually feel like this is going to be like we're probably going to need a couple of tries so this is going to be manor lords but on the hardest difficulty um, <clears throat> the way to set this up is, uh, is pretty simple with the settings, obviously, but, uh, we'll kind of explain a little bit about how it's done, but yeah, welcome to the stream guys. Hope you're all having a good morning. Did we figure out how to empty stockpile issue or did we con con conclude it's a bug? Well, it is a bug. I reached out to the dev on Twitter, but I sent like a message request. Um, other people have been talking about it, so hopefully it gets solved before the game goes comes out for sure. Um, so yeah, the the what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be we're gonna be setting the game to the hardest difficulty and seeing how difficult it truly is. Um, now there's been some Age of Empires people try this, and they've said that it was like really good. Age of Empires people have tried. Uh, and they've said it's really difficult. Um, what's going to make it even harder is if the burning of the... Our houses are definitely getting burned. So, we'll see. You can also tax your village like 999%. Well, I mean, we could do a bunch of other stuff, but... Oh, wait, well, you, you, can, you can tax 1,000%. He actually wrote the title of the wrong game. It's a study of duality of a man. Manlord? Did I put Manlord in the title? No. Manor Lords. Hold on here. Actually, just give me a sec. Boop. I've watched both on the... Both the last two YouTube VODs and you're hooked. Yo, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Man Lord. Man Lord. So, if, well, I think it's conquest. No, no, it's domination. So we're gonna set this at the maximum difficulty. So it's gonna be a domination with a present off map adversary. AI will be aggressive. Raider frequency will be set to frequent. Raider free years will just be one. <clears throat> Initial bandit camps will be five. Random bandit camp spawn limit, five. Now, I'm going to start... I mean, I could start in the winter, but that's... That's... I feel like that... <laughs> you know, maybe we start in the winter. I feel like that would actually be the hardest. Starting supplies, nothing. Armament supply, none. Residential requirements, demanding. Approval, high penalty. Weather events, difficult. This, I don't, I don't know if it can actually get harder in the current version of the game than this. So, uh, I feel... Can I save this template? I actually don't know if I can, but um, this this is this is the ultimate challenge right here. No water. 
No, no, no. This is underground water, unconstrained. Unconstrained means I can put wells anywhere. This is actually the harder set, set setting right here. Uh, do you really want to start in the winter? No. No, I do not. No, no, I really, I do not want to start in the winter. But this is the, this is the way it is. Um, yeah, this is, we're probably going to need a couple of attempts at this. Uh, we're going to have to pause quite a bit. But I really do feel with these settings, it's not only going to make the most entertaining challenge, but it's also going to really push, like, what's possible with the early access release of the game. So, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. At least start in the fall so you don't die immediately. Well, as long as we start next to a hunting patch, we should be okay. Technically, it is early winter, so this, the, 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 we, so we have a little, we got berries that are shrinking. We do have a hunting, hunting wild animal deposit over here. Uh, we got some stone. Stone is going to be extremely important. Yeah, we, we finished the other campaign versus the Baron. Yeah, we have no food and no fuel. So, the biggest thing about this is I feel like on this difficulty, we actually need to build the defenses, which is something that I kind of neglected on the first playthrough because we won't, we won't be able to go after bandit camps, uh, which means our supplies are going to get raided quite a bit. Uh, bandit camp, bandit camp. There's like bandit camps everywhere. So we're going to get raided. We're going to lose supplies. Um, it's going to be challenging, but I think we can make it happen. Um, including like, like, I don't know if I, like, I feel like I kind of want to build like our village in like a nice defensible spot instead of just having it in the woods. But I guess here we are. Chat testicles? Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Chat testicles? What the hell is a chat testicle? Wait, am I in the right spot here? Let me like move myself over here real quick. What about Dinkleberry Hills? Maybe I feel like uh we'll 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 reclaim it. Why, why don't we why don't we do this one as uh Dinkle Dinkleberry? The Dink the Dinkleberry. Um okay, so we're gonna push the knowledge of the game today, fellas. We're gonna push it. Um, yo, we got uh, JD. What's going on, man? Thank you for the tier one sub to Mengus. Yo, thanks for popping in. We got uh, Brain Don't. Thank you for the 46 month resub. Hold on. Let me actually. Well, I'm going to play our own tunes this morning. Sorry, tw sorry, YouTube. You guys don't. You guys don't get it. At least not today. Okay, there we go. Um, all right. <laughs> this is going to be hard. This is going to be really hard. <clears throat> Which is why the game is paused. So the, the most important thing that we need right now is food. And the only way that we can get it, by the time I set up a, a, a forgery hut, the berries are going to be gone. So... I'm going to I'm going to immediately put down a hunting we're going to put down a hunting thing right here. In fact, you know what? We we can build we can build the town like on the King's Road here. Like it, it, we don't need it. We don't need to start over here because the berries are going to go away. Everyone can kind of be up and over here. N near this granary would actually be fine. Like we'll we'll slowly work up over there. So we're going to start like that, and then uh, we need also we need some lumber. I'm gonna put it over here. No more grids or we riot. Bro, we might have, we're ev I think for when it comes to the, the village, it's gonna have to be super tight because we're gonna need to build walls around it with towers defending it. So we're gonna open up over here with a logging camp. 
And then I think I'm going to put the wood, the wood cutters camp. Oh wait, not enough goods. That's all they start with. Oh fuck. <laughs> um, we ha all right. Well. Dude, this is going to be brutal. All right, this is going to be our marketplace. So the marketplace has to exist right now. So then the peasants can come and, and get the meats. All right, we got to go. Let's see. Come on, boys. We got to get her going. They should They should start running over real quick. Whoa! By the gods! I was just getting my peasants to build some buildings in the winter. And I blacked out. Here I am. That's the first crash. Damn, did it save? I feel like it probably didn't save. <laughs> it didn't save. We got to start again. Shit. The computer said no. I love this autosave photo, though. That's hilarious. There is lightning. Uh, so we learned. Lightning came and struck the market. So, all right. We got we to gotta start again. That kind of sucks. I will make sure I save at the beginning. Just in case there's uh, another problem. We're going to be the, the silver shovels. Told you no grids. High penalty. Demanding. No arms. Weather events difficult. Underground water. Starting supplies. Nothing. Starting season. Winter. Five. Five. <clears throat> Run. All right. Raiders frequent. AI aggressive. There we go. All right. I think we're good. It seems a little too difficult. We're going to be in a completely different starting spot now. We're just going to change everything. Uh, okay. I mean, it's, it's like kind of a similar vibe. No, we're in this, we're, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is actually probably better. All right, there we go. We saved it. Okay. Where, where are my people? Um, yeah, no, this is, this is actually, I think a bit better. So we're going to, oh, pause. We are going to build the hunting camp right away. And then we'll build the logging camp right here. Force the better start. Shake my head, dude. Okay, we got the logging camp, and then we need the wood. The woodcutter's lodge. Not enough goods? Not enough goods. All right, let's, let's, let's get this rolling. Time is a-ticking. All right, we need the market again. No straight roads? There'll be some straight roads, don't worry. There'll be some, there'll be some roads, boys. There'll be some roads. There. There, now that's kind of like a curved road. Um, I need to do the marketplace in here, though. Marketplace right away, so then the hunters can trade the meats with their fellow villagers, like, right out the gate. Okay. Perfect. That actually might even be too big. It is. Context and phrasing. Hold on. It needs to, it needs to be tight. Again, context of phrasing. We got, it's gonna, cause we gotta build the fences this time. So I need to make sure that 
we are kind of like set up for I kind of like that and then it needs to be kind of like a small market at first there Yeah, I'm, I'm building with the anticipation of needing to surround the town with walls. Because it, it will have to happen. Because we won't get spears and shields now. We got nothing. We have no way to defend ourselves. And I think the only way is going to be the retinue and towers. So. We'll be ready. So yeah, we got a raider attack. Did you up the difficulty? The game cannot be harder than what we have going on right now. We're starting in the winter time. No supplies, no spears, no shields, nothing. We got, we, it's, 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 it's actually going to be really fucking hard. That's why I'm taking my time here. That we're going to be pausing a lot. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go and we're going to start hunting... And we're going to start um, logging. And we're going to need a storehouse. The winter is coming. I think the winter destroys supplies way faster. You guys can start to log right now. All right. Can I stay with drink? In fact, we're going to assign the ox to the, to the logging thing right away. So they're starting to chop. Starting to chop. Yo, we got Mr. Sleepless one. Thanks to the 20 month sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. And also Hunted Hippo. Thanks to the 48 month resub. Uh, good morning, guys. New campaign. Hold on here. There we go. Uh, yeah, new campaign. We're on the we're on the hardest difficulty right now. I've heard of your renown. I only to seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. Right back. I'm I'm oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're good. Yeah, the uh, now on this difficulty too. The Baron is probably going to be uh, aggressively pursuing my territories. So, yeah, we're going to have to be a little careful about that. No, this is more like city skylines, um, but in medieval times. That's pretty much kind of like how it is, in my opinion, so far. All right, how are we doing? All right, we got some timbers. So I think the first thing that we got to do... We're going to need a storehouse for the food. Oh, shit, we don't have any clay. Oh, balls. Dude, these guys are going to freeze to death here soon. Freezing in the winter time. Okay. So, we're going to... Okay, let's open up with a residential. Dude, this is rough, man. This is actually really hard. It's kind of cool, though. But it, it's going to be... It's going to be really challenging. Four... We're going to need four timbers. If you don't die the first try, it's no good. Well, I mean, I've already played the game a little bit, so I got I got knowledge. I got knowledge. I know what I'm getting myself into here. I don't think these guys are going to die right away, so... Oh, man, I just realized we have no regional wealth as well. No regional wealth. Okay. So we got, uh, we got five timbers. We're going to go. I need, I need the, uh, I need the workshops here. They need to have workshops. 
All right, boom. We're going to put that there, and uh, I'm going to put the one family. They're going to go on it. Come on, boys. We got two months of food. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's the woodcutter's lodge? Can I do that? Oh, thank fuck, I can. All right, good. All right, that needs to be built so they can start burning some firewood for, for heat because they're going to freeze to death if I don't. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I forgot about the firewood. No free oxen. There we go. There we go. All right, build it. Build the woodcutter's lodge, please. 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 Okay, there we go. All right, they're going to start cutting the wood. The other free family is going to start building the homes. Are we going to abuse any of the trade mechanics? We might have to, yes. Because now, at this difficulty, we might have to, yeah. We'll see. Shit's going to be really tough, so... But well, the one thing that I want to do on this playthrough is I want to build multiple retinues. Oh yeah, yeah, I could, I could. Doesn't upgrading the starting camp provide some shelter? I didn't even know that. Upgrade to a worker's camp provides a cruel living space for five families. Contrary to burgage plots, can't be upgraded or expanded and may cause some loss of approval. Uh, you know, I think we're good. I don't think we got to do that because, you know, approval is a big one right now. So we ain't, that's going to hurt too. Everything is more difficult, so we got to make sure our people are really, really fucking happy. Like, really happy. So. I think we... The tent is worse, though. Yeah, but we have enough timbers to make everybody a house right now. Well, I need one more timber. Hold on, this isn't really bard core. Let's see here. There we go. Don't touch, trust me. It's fine. We're good. Let's roll, let's roll. Yeah, don't worry, fellas. We're building, we're building. We got three months of food stored up, but that's gonna go pretty quick with the hunting camp. There's only 10 wild animals left, so... I actually don't know if there's any other way for us to, uh... We're gonna have to get really creative here. But I'm kind of for it. Approval rating is skyrocketing to the floor. Oh, yes. There, look at this. Okay. We have three months. We got three months. Okay. Let's build those homes. We gotta be careful though. I can't speed up time too much. So we're gonna need regional wealth immediately. Okay. Construction finished on the burgage plot. We got the burgage plot. I think we need to build one more home.
Can I build two more homes? I might as well just do it like this. Shit, I had it right. There we go. Perfect. Let's get rolling. Let's get building. What does what does regional wealth do? So regional wealth allows you to um uh fucking what am I what am I doing here? It allows us to trade for supplies, which is uh really important. Allows us to buy stuff, um, but we also need to have some stuff in the treasury. But the biggest thing for regional wealth is we're gonna be able to trade and get spears. Cause like we don't start with anything on this run and we're gonna get raided in less than a year and we're surrounded by bandits. Bandits are everywhere on this difficulty. So we don't get any free handouts this time. So we're gonna we're gonna need some monies. Gonna need some monies. Yo, we got Mr. Aaron. Thanks to the 51 month sub. Why did we start a new game? Because we beat the last campaign. Yo, Paradox. Thanks to the 16 month resub. Welcome back. No free handies, boys. No free handies. All right, now we got a really important decision to make. Um, so I think trading logistics is great, but we're not there yet. So I think out of all of these, the most important one that we can get is this one, is trapping. Food is going to be the biggest problem because we're in the middle of the winter and we can't pick berries and we can't plant anything. So I think we're going to have to do that. We're going to be, we're going to have to be living off the, this, the rabbit meats. So I think this is going to be the most important one. Yo, we got Creo. Thanks to the six month sub. No more bread village. Bread village survived, man. Bread village conquered. Uh, there were, this is going to be a fun challenge though. I'm looking forward to it. Passive meat income. Yeah. Eventually we can uh, do this as pelt extraction as well. And then we could trade the pelts. So I think that's kind of, I'm thinking for this area at this beginning, we're going to go with trapping into pelt extraction and then eventually trade logistics and better deals. So then we're going to use the pelts to export to the market, use the money to buy our weapons. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. So I think we're going to go with that. It's the only way that I feel like we can get money to get weapons right now. Because I we won't have an artisan with the skill to be able to... Uh... What the fuck? Is this... Is this... Is this Arctic Monkeys? But... Ah! <laughs> Okay. We're going to need some water. So if we get raided, the villagers can, can douse it. All right, put that right there. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to need clay and we're going to need timbers. So we're going to... We got to build the manor, right? Like as quick as possible. This thing's got to get erected very quick. Because with the manor, I'll be able to build defensive towers that can shoot arrows. So just like in Age of Empires, our villagers will be able to run into these towers. So um, we're going to need to do that. So in order for us to make that happen, we're going to have to build ourselves a saw pit. Okay. 
Let's see what's next. There we go. Oh, wait a second. Can I do this? Oh, I have no regional wealth. Right. We can't buy the chickens. That's okay. So we're going to need to put this thing down, and then we're also going to need to put... Where is it? The mining pit. On the clay. And then we're also going to need to put the mining kit on the stone eventually. But uh, I'll, I'll worry about that after. We only have one family that's working on... Uh... Step right up and sell. Yeah, everyone's not super happy right now. It's homelessness, church level 2, not enough clothing variety in the market. Not enough fuel in the market. Yeah, we'll. Uh, it's gonna be rough, but we'll. We'll. We're gonna get there. I'm hoping. The morale of the citizens is like fairly low, but that's okay. They just. They don't know how bad they just had it. Okay, so we're. All right, come on now. Oh. Families may start leaving town. Uh oh. All right, hold tight. This needs to be number one. Uh oh. Approval is critically low. Dude, I may have already lost. I may have already lost. <sighs> Shit, I think I lost. Dude, this is hard, man. I need to try to build this tannery, a like ASAP. And then we need to put a family on the tannery. One person off of there. Keep going? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna see church level too low. We need clothing in the market. There we go, there we go. Oh. You could begin in spring, but that wouldn't be the hardest difficulty, would it, my friend? Saved. Yes, because we have a family, a family that is now uh, supplying clothing, like leathers to the market. So the tannery. Okay, so we have the hunting camp. We have the tannery. What is this music? Don't you have anything medieval? The fuck are you talking about? This is the local bard at the bar, brother. This is this is just him better. Yeah, it's a bit too much this morning. This is a skip for me. This is a horse with no name, but in Latin. <laughs> you thought it was Spanish. It does kind of sound Spanish. It sucks. Okay, 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 okay. Listen. Fucking shit. How about some flute solos? Oh, I yeah, flew it up. All right, yo, Hero School. Thanks for the 888-month Risa. Welcome back. Yo, really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Broadcasting a song in a language you don't speak is a big ball move. Brother. Ami. Fucking. Amino. Domire. Amino. Domire. 
Amino. I speak Latin? The fuck are you talking about, brother? Of course I do. Dr. Fresh, thanks to the 16 month resub. Just found out my wife and I are having a son. Hell yeah, dude. Yo, congratulations, Dr. Fresh. Thank you. Thanks for the sub. We got Hero School. Thanks again for that massive 88 month resub. Yeah, no, maybe maybe a horse with no name in Latin is a bit too much to open up the day. All right. Mr. Aaron, thanks to the 51 month sub. Paradox, thanks to the 16 month sub. Mr. Sleepless One, thanks to the 20 month sub. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there. Hunted Hippo, thanks to the four years. JD, thanks to the tier one sub to Mengus. Bob Wire, thanks to the 16 month sub. And Norman, double down. I usually do double down, but I understand. I could almost not hear myself think, so it's okay. I'm just saying, you better hope that's what that was. Dude, cabbage tits, what are you coming at me for? You sound like you're threatening me, bro. It was that. I speak Latin, dude. I know what it was. Raymond, thanks to the Prime sub. And if it wasn't that, I'll just plead, I'll just plead ignorance, okay? It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's not. It's fine. Anyway, you know what? The, the default music in this game is actually really good. Did you cast a spell on me? It's actually really good. Um, yo. Castle Jam. Covered by yeah, no, th this this music is actually really good. This is the this is the actual game music for Mana Lords. I already played Tavern and they they fucking they didn't like it. They didn't like Latin horse of no name. Okay, anyway, I'm paused here for a good little while. Because uh for good reason. We need to build the church. People are getting antsy. They need to talk to God. And in order for us to build the church, we need clay. So, and we need, we need, so we need two more families to move in here. So, two more families. And I'm going to make sure they have workshops. Oops. All right, there we are. Don't worry, we'll go back to Bardcore once people are warmed up, okay? Fucking, they're gonna, it's, it's, it's understandable. Plus, I think Mandalord's music is really good, so it's actually solid. So we need to build some more Burgage plots so that more people can move in, so more people can do the jobs, so we can build, we can build the church. But, uh, dude, I didn't really... I underestimated how challenging this is going to be. But I feel like this is also the better way of the, of the game being played already. I feel like I'm enjoying the challenge of it a lot more. But I, I feel like wintertime beginning is extremely tough because we don't have any food variety. And people, people are wanting to leave. So, clothing market supply is helping. So, we're going to need... More families, for sure. And I need two more families. Is the game very loud? I mean, if it is, I could turn it down. My audio is all over the place. All right, come on now. No, it is? Okay, yeah, I could just turn down the master by, like... Nine timbers. Okay, we got the we got the homes. I wonder if someone is gonna move in here, or we're gonna have to start juggling people. Since nothing is being built, oh no, the sawmill's being built. Let's wait for that to be done, and then I'm gonna put the person on clay. I think we're gonna have to just like use this one family. They're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff. Or we have nine months of fuel. These people can stop that. 
Nine months of fuel is a lot of fuel. So they can stop chopping the wood. Nine timbers is also a good amount. So they can stop doing that for now too. We're gonna have to start juggling people around. They're not gonna be able to stay on their rolls. All right, so they're gonna work the saw. Okay. This needs to get finished. Oh, the generic storage is full too. Shit. Okay. Okay, okay. We need to build a storage. A storehouse. We're gonna have to build a storehouse and a granary. Okay. But I think we're I think we're climbing out of the hole. It's also February, so like we should be able to pick some berries here soon. Where is the berries? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um Storehouse. Wait, 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 wait. Demolish. Storehouse. Put the storehouse there. Okay, pause. How we doing over here? This needs to get done, brother. Okay. Is the granary for storing grains? It's for storing food, yep storing the food is this closed early access it is yes it is closed it's going to be releasing april 26th can you turn down the music for the youtube homies yeah yeah yeah, yeah. how about i do this and then i'll do i'll set that to about 40 percent. i feel like that's probably going to be solid Okay, so construction finished, mining pit. Now we're gonna go into the storehouse. It's very important that this storehouse gets finished. All right, it's March too. So we're gonna need to build, um, dude, this, this thing is gonna get burned to fuck by the bandits, but we're gonna put it all the way down there anyway. Okay. Here we go. So this mining pit, we're going to start mining the clay right now. Time is of the essence, fellas. The raiders are coming in 200 days. We need clay to build defenses. We need to move quickly. How are we doing on the planks? Okay, we got 20 planks and two timbers. So I'm going to get this guy to stop doing that and start chopping more trees. And uh, we got... Uh, Eight months of fuel, so we're good there still. So these guys are gonna build the 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 for the for the forgery hut. And we're gonna have to start getting the clay. So it, it's pretty it's a long track over to the clay, but they should be able to They should be able to mine it. Oh! What happened to my cape? They don't let me in. I kind of prefer no cape, though. Yo, we got Sergeant Torque. Thanks to the uh, gifted sub to Internal Conflict. Uh, the Rhino, Shwelly, Code Ape, and Surgits. You guys watching, receiving that free community sub, so thank you. Uh, uh, we got AJ Valley. Thanks to the 13-month resub as well. Juice Hercules, thanks to the 26-month sub. Lotus, thanks to the Prime sub. Mino, thanks to the 1,000 bits. We got uh, Nagol. Thank you for the two-month sub as well. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. We also got uh, Arukic coming in with a 92-month resub. Freaking mighty. Freaking mighty Arukic. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Freaking old, yeah. Mighty 
subscription coming in. Thanks, my man. You had a th sick thunderstorm this morning. Yeah, we had our first bout of thunder like last week, dude. The weather's nice. The grass is turning green. Winter is over. Dude, this time of the year is fucking awesome. It was 21 degrees Celsius. It's, it's going to snow a little bit tomorrow, like a touch, but, you know. Let's go, people. All right. We should be able to bring some berries to the market, and that should make people a bit happy. Another ruler's army was sighted. That's fine. They shouldn't be going after me. But they might start claiming more territory because they're, they're it's going to be a little bit different than yesterday. They're set to aggressive, so they will start to aggressively claim these regions, which is going to be uh, very interesting. But yeah, we should start to bring some berries to the market. That should make people a little bit happy. They really want a church right now, though. But we're basically just beholden to the clay. We got 18 clays. Wait, what? Is that not clay? Is that stone? Dude, it looked like clay. The stone is red and it makes it look like clay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's the wrong resource. Oh shit. That's actually uh, pretty bad because things are moving quickly and I need to get this shit built ASAP. That's not good. <clears throat> hey! Hey! Yep. Yeah, neither neither does uh, RTVs downstairs. So, by the way, I figured out how to fix this. So you, we, you guys can super chat again. Um, yeah, I it was the it was the single browser problem. So I got Edge for YouTube, and we got Chrome for. Twitch and it's that it's working so super chat all day long thank you for the five dollars really appreciate it we also got spice mouse thank you for the 37 month sub welcome back guys we're, we're playing on the hardest difficulty we started in the winter time it's dude they, we're it's it's gonna be tight it's gonna be difficult basically the main goal right now is we need to set up a manor as soon as humanly possible and a church because uh, until we build a church, people are really upset. So Let's get to work. they're going to start mining the stones. So we need some stone. Like really, really fast. Okay, we got 10 stone. Can I build the church? I can build the church. All right, it really, I don't, honestly just don't care where this is. It just needs to, this is, well, this is a good spot for it. There, the church has to go here. This has to be maximum priority. The person that's mining the stone can go do that. Uh, we got six timbers. How are we doing on fuel? We're doing good on fuel, but we have to watch that because no one's working the wood cutting lodge right now. Okay, let's get that church built. This should really make people happy. On, on this difficulty too, every, the approval rating is not always going to be 100% because uh, everything impacts the morale of the citizens by like, I think it's threefold now from our last campaign. So we can't just like dilly dally. These guys got to be like, they got to be happy or they're going to start leaving. There are hard keys to speed up time. I just, I'm not used to them yet, but yeah, there is. How early can you build walls and towers? Those fuckers. <sighs> yeah.
You need a firewood place in the market? Yeah, I know, but we have to build this church. So we only we can only do so much at a time. So actually, this guy can fuck off and start he can start doing firewood stuff. We have enough timbers for now. Well actually what we should do is just assign that guy the timbers when we don't have any and get him to chop wood. I understand it's critically low, but if we build this church, people are gonna be really excited. People are gonna be really pumped. Build the church. Please. There should be more fuel in the market. Come on now. Family left town. No. What were they doing? Berry picking? No, who did we lose? I actually don't know who we, the tannery? Oh, we lost the tannery. Uh okay, okay. Guys, finish, please finish the church. I probably started this too late. If another family leaves the town, we're screwed. And uh, I, I've learned from my mistakes. That's okay though. I'll try to see if we can finish this, but this might, this might be a GG already. Okay, this, this difficulty is automatically way more interesting. This didn't happen last time. The, 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 the other ruler is already claiming territory. Not ours. But already, dude. Already. If you rearrange the letters of mailmen, they'll get very angry. Okay. Wow. Nice, Will. Eight out of eight? It's fine. <coughs> Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Build that church. Build that church, fellas. Build that church. We need this church to be done. It's going to make the entire town happy. It's going to make us... Uh, Real famous. You know, people are going to want to move in here. We got to get this done. Please. Build the church. Nice yes. Okay. Amazing. So, in the meantime... I'm going to set the spare family onto the tannery. Okay, so we have 11 months. We got 12 months of fuel right now. Um, so we're doing pretty good right now, actually, I'd say. We're doing all right. Now, the next thing we have to build is the manor. So this guy is going to get off of wood. He's going to jump on the stone real quick. Because we need... How much, how much do we need? We need 15 stone and planks. So that needs to happen. And then once we get the... we sh Once we get this built, we should be able to start going after some bandits, I think. But we won't... We, you know, we have 188 days. Time is a ticking before we get raided, so... We got, we got very limited time. Time is, time's a ticking. Time's a ticking. Wait, didn't I name this? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. Fucking Dinkleberry. With two R's. Dinkleberry. How is this a new start? Yeah, so this is so for those that are just jumping in, this is a new start. And this is the most difficult the game is. We started in the winter, no supplies, everything is like, everything is amped up. We don't get spears, we don't got shields. There's raiders everywhere, they're stealing our shit. Then we got the Baron has already claimed extra territory, they're coming for us. It's, it's, uh, we got, we're gonna be raided by 52 units. In 180 days. So it's, uh, I don't really know exactly how we're going to handle that, but I'm trying to build the manors as quick as possible so we can build towers. That's my plan. Um, berries, berries, bursting with flavor. Yes, berries, berries, beautiful berries. We need this stone, though. Wait, wait. The fucking guy? Oh, I misclicked. No, he's on there. He's on He's on stone. The guy that I set the stone moved out. Moved, moved away of his family. That's not good. Alright, we need stone. We need, I think, 15 stone ASAP. The resort, the bandits stole more of my shit. That's fine. 15 stone? 15 stone. Okay. Now we need 20 planks. Get off of the stone. Jump on the planks. This guy's getting worked. This guy's getting worked. Okay. So another 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 ten planks and we can start building this man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Time is of the essence. Bill yeah, uh, come on now. Come on now. You'll not find Come on now. Come on. Yes. Okay. The manor needs to be built. Not enough goods. What the hell are you talking about? We need... Oh, no. Stop chopping. Get over here. Chop some trees, dude. Right, right away. Come on. Fuck. We're running out to 155 days. Time's a ticking, boys. Time's a ticking. This manor's got to go up. Okay. Let's go, people. Mm. Dang. I'm trying to think like where I could place it to to put the towers, but I think it's going to have to be here. Okay, this guy jump pops off there. They gotta build it. No live on Facebook? Fuck nice meme, brother. Okay. We gotta start working on these burgage plots, too. But there's so much to do in such a small period of time. It's crazy. We're running out. Practically, your town is built by one man. Yeah, it sucks. We had a family leave, so we actually have uh, less people, too. Not enough fuel in the market. Um, okay, we the berry person can go on fire making. The berry person can go over here. They can start chopping. Chopping for there. 
We're gonna have to start juggling people big time. Challenging requires a lot more micro, huh? No, this isn't on challenging difficulty. This is a custom difficulty. I'm in the way, so you guys can't see the... There you go. Now you guys can see the time. Time's ticking. Yo, we got Bush, thanks to the two-month sub. Welcome back. Time's a ticking. Stocks damaged by the hut. Come on, baby. Build the manor. Build Dinkleberry Manor. Come on. Come on. Build the manor. I don't know, man. I think if I was to do this differently, I feel like... Um, I would put somebody on stone right away. And gather the stone required for the manor and the castle right away. So then, like, we could build the... I think what need, the church needs to go up first so you don't lose the families. Our food's being stolen by the local bandits. <coughs> and then, because, like, I think this might be a little late for the manor. We got five retinue, so now the fuel, the fuel, oh, we got a free family. Okay. I think the person that I assigned to the woodcutting lodge actually dipped out. So that should do that. So we need, I should, okay. Garrison troops and villagers shoot projectiles at approaching enemies. Yeah, it's a shame that I can't, uh, I may have like, it would have been great for me to put a tower like right here. I wonder if I move the market. Wonder what happens if I do that. Like how how pissed off I think I think we'll be fine if I move the market. If I just move the market across the street, and I'm gonna leave some space for a tower to go there. Right? And then I'm gonna do this. Demolish the marketplace. Hopefully that doesn't fuck us up too much. Open the tower. And then we're gonna need to put an outer tower like right in the middle of town. I feel like that should help us a little bit, but um, okay. Now I need the free family to go on stone like right away. We have a hundred days. A hundred days. Wait, we have an extra family that popped in too. Where are they? I don't know where they went, but I hope they, okay. The town's main attraction, the garrison tower. You need to rebuild the market. It's right here. We're good. They're, they're already like moving their stalls across the street. Oh no, there's a, oh yeah, the supply pile. Let's hope that supply pile disappears. I feel like we have somebody working an extra job right now that doesn't need to be worked. I don't know what it is. I, uh, yeah, anyway. Maybe it's the tannery? I 
don't know. 35 stone already. Okay, 35 stone. So we need 10 logs. So this guy's gonna jump off of here. He's gonna jump over here. He's gonna chop in some trees. 95 days before we get raided. Three months. I don't know if one tower is going to be enough. I'm going to say it probably won't be. But, uh... It's all I got right now. Man, this is rough. It might be. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping. Unless it's just one round of bandits the first time. If it's one round of bandits, we should, we should be okay. Should be okay. We'll see. Yo, we got Tycho. Thanks to the 34 month resub, man. Did you hear? Did you hear the one about the two Mexican firefighters, Jose and Jose B? What the fuck, brother? Oh my god. Uh, Sovereign Throne, thank you for the 33 month resub. That's a zero out of eight, brother. Harvest season. We, we can't even think about farming yet. <coughs> can't even think about it. It's not even possible. All right, three more timbers. Three more timbers. Come on, baby. <coughs> Come on, baby. Three more timbers. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Outer tower. I like it. I think this is about it. This is it. It goes right here. Let me sure it's placed right. Yeah. It's going to go right here. I don't know the range of this bad boy, but I'm hoping it's good. All right. So this guy pops off the logs and hopefully they will build that up. The tower can build. It looks backwards. Uh, I think, I mean, we'll see. Because all the houses are back here. So I want it facing this way. Where's the pub? Oh, we ain't got time to drink right now. If we survive this raid, which I think we should be able to. If I build this tower and we have the retinue, the five dudes, we should be able to defend against one band of raiders. Which I think the first raid should only be one band. People don't think grass gets wet in the morning, but it do. I'll go deaf from all that hammering. Bro, you guys are killing me here. You guys are killing me. Thank you for the five dollars. Def not daddy cash. Definitely not. Definitely not daddy cash. We also got uh, Sovereign and Sir Penguin, thanks to the 17 month sub, and Bush, thanks to the two month sub. Thanks, guys. Come on, let's get that tower built. <coughs> let's get her built. Come on, baby. Bandits are coming in 50 days. Bandits just stole my leather and my meat in the middle of the night. Man, we might be able to build another tower, too. I might, I might try.
Yeah, I'm really worried about the, the Burgage plots getting burned. Um, but... Because there's, like, kind of a bug right now with that where you can't rebuild on the same plot where a Burgage plot gets destroyed. So... We'll have to just, like... We'll have to deal with that. Build a wall? Uh... I don't know. We gotta get this first. We gotta build the tower first. I don't really know what's taking so long. We're missing a timber. Berries, berries, bursting with flavor. Fit Let's for a king. Somebody used up one of the woods. Yep. He should be able to chop down a tree, though. Come on, bring the ox over. Dude, this is tough, man. They really, they really dilly dally when it comes to the trees or to the, to the manor towers. 20 days. This needs to get done like now, please. Holy shit. Okay. We got it done. Um, all right. <clears throat> so these, these are the merry lads that, uh, wait a second. I'm going to disband them real quick. Here's the retinue. All right. We got, uh, We'll do, um, oh, wait a second. Wait. Oh, I can rename it to the merry men. And then I'm going to name this guy, uh, daddy cash Wilbur hero. Chlorine and we'll do uh, the last one will be um, uh, We'll do we'll do we'll do night shift. I don't know if he's here right now, but Mossy Mossy. All right, fine. We'll do Mossy. Then we'll get night shift on the next one um, Yeah, I don't have any body armors for them. So Let's see We'll kind of give you a cleaver. No, we'll be back on Hardcore Tarkov, but Man of Lords, I've been waiting for this game for a long time, so I'm really trying to explore the best out of it. I think we need uh, red and purple. I think those are the colors. All right, there we go. There's a... Uh... Hold on, did I not save it? Oh, the name does reset. Why? Oh. I wonder why. Maybe hit enter on it. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right, there's the there's the merry men. We're hold on here. We're just going to do uh Mossy always wears the freaking black in um, in Escape for Tarkov. So we'll just kind of like... I don't really know if he's here, but I feel like uh, he would use... 
I feel like he'd use like a warhammer and a tiny shield. We'll do a little tiny shield here, a little sparring shield. We got chlorine. We can get them upgraded body armor, but I'm gonna give him the uh, the hand, like the quick axe. There he is. Then we're gonna go with hero. Kind of like that whole situation. I'm gonna make him blue. Then we got Wilbur. Give him this kind of thing, a weapon. I'll give him a uh, a hammer for sure. It's gonna, oh, do I, yeah, there you go. You definitely need to get the hammer. Give Will pink colors. All right. Well, I might as well get you guys to match. You know what I mean? Might as well, you guys, you guys could be, you guys can match. All right, perfect. You guys are going to defend the village. Let's assemble. Assemble the fellas. Today we fight for our Lord. Oh, come on. Let's inspect the troops. All right, let's. The village is under threat of being burned, and you are the merry men. Just five in a bitchin' tower. It's only five versus an unknown amount of enemies. The merry men. There you guys go. Only five. That's all I got, man. We're on the hardest difficulty. We're getting raided right away. I got no time. <coughs> I got no time. Ain't got no time. All right. We'll see if the if the if the Come merry men of Dinkleberry. The Derp Squad. I can I'll rename it to the Derp Squad in a minute. The Deadly Elite Resistance Platoon. We're gonna put you guys next to the tower. We got 20 days until the attack. 20 days. So uh, in the meantime, what are we working on here? Not enough food variety in the market. So we'll put the other family back on berries. And, uh, all right. We're waiting. I don't really know exactly how to raise the alarm. There's the church bell. But I don't think that does anything. I think once we just, once they start raiding, we're going to have to just stand near this tower. No family in the church. Yeah, but it's it that's just for grave digging, so Okay. Dude, we've, we we I think we can do it. I think we can survive the first raid. I'm hoping. Yo, Prophet, thanks to the tier 2 48 month resub 4 years. Greatly appreciate it, man. Thanks to the Silver Throne. Um, yo. Yo, thank you, thank you. Yo, why didn't this uh Super chat play. Oh, there we go. Yo, thank you, Carson, for the super chat over on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Okay. Eleven days. We're just I'm gonna save it. Uh if you want it even more difficult, you should enable day night cycle as well. I mean, yeah, sure, I'll enable it, but That's it. I don't think there's any other way that I can make it uh more authentic than that. That's it. Have you heard how to make holy water? Oh my god. You boil the hell out of it. Wow, that's one of the first ones ever. That's a classic right there. 
The new marketplace is not as popular. Well, this tower is going to have to try to defend against uh, the incoming bandits, so... Three days. The enemy units have been spotted. Here they are. Okay, thankfully, it's just one band of brigands. It's still 18, though. It's still 18. Where am I at? I wonder if the Baron is going to come and... Uh, Fuel reserves. What does the fuel do? Servants. Okay, well, fuel burns. I know, but in terms of the manner, I'm not entirely sure what it does. Mission completed. Raiders near. What? There they are right there, though. Okay, once they get close to the village, I need to stop speeding up time because, um... No, I cannot assemble a militia. I don't have any weapons. So we don't get gifted spears and shields on this one. All right, here they come. So they just start running for my village with torches. And when I speed up time, I found last time they, uh, they teleported. Like, they teleported into the town and lit that bastard up, like, really fast. So I gotta keep an eye on him. Alright, they've officially crossed into... Dinkleberry lands. Here they go, yep. So I gotta be super careful. Yeah, too bad I can't raise the alarm already. So yeah, they're here they come. Run. Pick up the pace. All right, let's see what happens. I'm hoping the villagers just automatically run into the tower. But I don't really, the tower is supposed, the villagers are supposed to run into the tower and they shoot arrows. Oh yeah, they see my unit, so they, they stopped. And uh, they're reforming. So they're not going to go for the immediate burn because they know the merry men are here. The five merry men. I feel like this might end badly. This is my only play right now. So... Maybe if I... I'm going to get them to stand their ground briefly. It'll work. It just depends on the range of the tower. That's all that really matters. I don't know the range. Where the fuck did they go? Oh my god, it happened. They disappeared. Maybe because they went into the woods. I don't know. There? They're in the woods somewhere. Yeah, I don't see them though. Oh, here they are. Oh, yeah. So you do you lose their icon when they're in the woods. Okay. Why 
All right, yeah, yeah. Can I like, yeah, I don't think there's a way I can raise the alarm. At least I don't know how to raise the alarm. I think you're fucked. I think so too. Oh, I know they're running in. Okay, they're going to the manor. Run to the manor. They're going into the manor. So they should, yes, they should, they should get into the tower then. Because the tower is an extension of the manor. All right, this is perfect. Let me see if I could bait them a bit closer to the tower. All right, here we go. Come on, merry men. This is it. Please start shooting. I'm hoping. I've never seen this tower work before, so I'm really hoping it works. There's no way. We have a we have an archery tower behind. And these guys are really good units. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing it fire at all. It is not firing. Fuck. It's supposed to fire? It's supposed to fire arrows? It has to be man. Yeah, maybe. Oh. I thought be just build. I thought just building the tower was enough. But we need to have a fletching spot to build. Okay. Listen, these troops are way better than brigands, though. Okay, there's a chance. I know there's only five, but they're heavily armored. The, like, the retinue are the best troop in the game. So, if there's a chance we still win this. I know five versus 18 is not good, but these guys are super OP, so... It's like knights versus poop rock throwers. Yeah, we already killed one. We already killed one. It's looking good. Look! Oh! Chlorine tablet with the stab to the gullet. Another one bites the dust. Holy shit, Cash is fucking getting his ass beat by a wooden club, but he's got a, he's got a thick skull. It's looking good. I mean, Cash is kind of getting his ass beat over here. Another one bites the dust. Okay, I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think I'm feeling pretty good. Honestly, the ret the retinue are really powerful. There's another one dead! Home oh, hero school with a stab to the belly! Go with a sick block, by the way. Sick block. Sadly, we're kind of split. No! Cash died. Push forward, lads. Another one bit the dust. Another one bit the dust. Oh, no. Help! Two versus seven. One versus seven.
Thermopylae, these bastards. Hit him with the Thermopylae. Chlorine tablets, the last one alive. Well, <laughs> uh, well, fuck, almost, you know, almost, almost. See, I think, uh, I think sadly it is, uh, this is a GG situation, I think. Normally it wouldn't be like I would slowly rebuild the town 53% approval rating. Yeah, um, I would slowly rebuild see this button rebuild So um, I'm hoping that this will get resolved shortly after the um, Shortly shortly after the uh, the game gets back or the game goes live But I can rebuild a lot of the structures which costs resources Reconstruct the demolished building, but if I try to I, I don't have the button to reconstruct Like it's 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 there You know, it's it's just sadly it's underneath the other button You know you can actually you can actually see the rebuild button you can see it. It's right there But the construct the backyard extension is in the way so you can, yeah, it's, uh, that's actually interesting. So it's just like a GUI issue where the uh, the button is just over top. See the plus? You can see the plus right there. And if I demolish it, there isn't a supply pile though, because there's no supplies in there. So this actually might, so this might not be a bad idea though. So the because there was nothing stored in these homes, then uh, there's no supply pile, which is which, which is fine. So I can actually destroy these then. Let me see what happens. It's only bad if there's supplies in the building. So we should be okay. We should be okay, actually. Let me see if we can salvage this. Let's see if we can salvage it. There's still a brigand in the town. Let's see if we can, let's see if they're done burning my shit. Oh, they're burning it all, huh? They're still here. Oh, they're, what the? Can you guys fucking leave me alone? Oh, they're just hanging out now. They're just hanging out. They're not, they're not leaving yet. Oh yeah, no, that's, I think that's GG. That's definitely GG. They're not leaving. They're camping. I think they're murdering the people. Somebody, oh yeah. Yeah. Can you guys leave? Reload? Nah. I don't want to reload. I want to, I would rather retry. Yeah, we'll retry. That's, 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 that's that. Um, I, but, but I learned, but I learned a lot of really important things. Use the houses workshops like a bower. Tip for this difficulty. You can't because I don't start with any starting supplies. This isn't just, uh, this is a custom difficulty that we're doing. So, uh, I can't use workshops until we build a trade outpost to out offload supplies. And, uh, we can't build a trade outpost right away because we need to prioritize building castles and, like, keeping our villagers happy. Because they, um, they will leave. 
they will leave the town. So I'll show you. It's We're not on the challenging difficulty. We're on a different one. It's completely separate. So... But I think we can do it, man. I think we can do it. I'm going to do the black... We're going to be the black keys this time. Oh, that actually looks really sick. We're going to be the, the black keys. All right. So, yeah, this is the difficulty we're on. So, it's none of these. All right. So, weather events difficult. Underground water. Approval high penalty. Oh, this saves at least. Uh, winter. No starting supplies, no armament deliveries, maximum bandit camps, only one year for raiders, the black keys, the black eyed keys, <laughs> uh, an aggressive off map a adversary. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. So you don't get the starting cash to get the, the bow or raid away, which is going to be an issue, but we'll see. We'll see. You can do it without the manor. Just get the basic stuff and build a trading post. And import some weapons. <laughs> well, no, yeah, the manor, we can't... The manor is a waste of time. The reason why I built the manor is because I wanted to build the tower. But I didn't realize that the tower doesn't self-supply the arrows. We gotta build the war bows, and then the villagers take the war bows from their house and garrison the tower. So if they don't have the war bows, they won't go into the tower. Uh, a, a Fletcher, yeah, a Fletcher. But we can't really get a Fletcher until we get the regional wealth. We can get the regional wealth by pushing Burgage plots level 2 as quick as possible. And then with the Burgage plots, import the bows that way. I feel like that, that would be a good idea. No, it's not a waste. You get good troops. You just need to make a boyer to make an archer militia. Yeah, I don't... I, I, yeah, I get what you're putting down. I can't hire mercenaries... Um, until we get treasury. So, we have a very limited amount of time. And we're starting in the winter. So, we... It's, it's, it's kind of it's tough. I think... Sell first. But in order for us to create a trade route, we need money. We don't have money. We have to get the Burgage plots level two. It's the only way. It's the only way. Because we need to generate the regional wealth. We need to generate the regional wealth get the trade outpost and then with the regional wealth establish a trade route with warbos because we can't or or no 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 fuck the trade route we just use the regional wealth to build a to build a fletcher that's it yeah that's it that's what we have to do no 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 no, we, we can't do we can't do the tower. The tower is scrapped. So we still need stone though to build the church. The church, we have to build the church in a considerable amount of time before the families leave. Because again, like um the morale that goes down quick. Like really, really fast. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's think about it. Let's think about it. So we got to go for the hunting right away so they eat the food, the woodcutter's lodge and the lumber camp. We could also go for the workers camp, but I feel like the loss of approval means they're going to leave anyway. So we might as well just build the homes. Yeah, we got raided and burned. I tried to build a to do a strategy where we're going to build a um like a tower, but it didn't really work out. No, no, see the berry bushes, we can't do berries because it's winter. We're starting in winter, so the berries are gone. All right. Let's let's open up. Let's open up with the hunting camp. 
I'm actually going to put the hunting camp in the woods. Because it, if it's not in the woods, I don't think it like generates the, the meat whenever we get the perk. So we're going to put that there. Oh, yo, we're, we got the same start as last time, I think. Or similar. We got a similar start to last time. Yeah, we do. We have basic we have a very similar start to last time. Okay, we're gonna do woodcutters camp. Logging camp. Woodcutters camp. Oh I can't actually. I think I'm I think that's all I could do. Yeah, I can only build a uh Hunting lodge and a wood, wood logging camp right away. That's it. All right, let's get these built. Dude, I am loving the Fallout uh, TV show. It is awesome, dude. It's making me want to go back and play some Fallout for sure. Yo, we got Rod Dog. Thanks to the 34 month resub. Welcome back. Thank you, Rod Dog. We got the last crab angler. Angler. Thanks. Don't be a grid, Andy. Thank you. Listen, we got to have, we got to have people together. You know. Uh, so if you're going to go for a Fletcher first and no tower, what's the plan for holding the front line? Are you going to have more militia than last time? Yeah, yeah. So last time we only had five what's called retinue, which is uh, which, what you get whenever you build a manor. Uh, I can't get more without money, so they just were my default. So the plan this time is to push for Burgage Plots level two, which is going to generate regional wealth. And then with the regional wealth, I'm going to be able to make a Boyer or a Fletcher. And that Fletcher is going to make us war bows. And then with those war bows, I really only need like 15 guys. And we should be okay. Um, 15 bows and we, we should be fine. So it's, you know, it's going to be, it's still going to be really difficult to do. And if we can get, if we have time, do you need a manor, manor to generate we, regional wealth? No, manors generate taxes instead of regional wealth so they're gonna they're gonna take money from the wealth and tre and convert it to treasury but sacrificing approval rating so it's uh it's it's tough man this is gonna be really hard i've seen i've been watching some other people try to do this and it's like it's very rough yo we got to slow mo thanks to the 48 month resub the four years i might as well just have this rolling on slow Reed, thanks to the nine month sub. Ponter, thanks to the 19 month resub. Butter Chicken, thanks to the three year sub. Rankle Dankle, thanks to the 52 month resub. Thick Jesus, thanks to the Prime 13 month sub. Black Death, thanks to the 32 month resub. Beaten, thanks to the eight month sub as well. And Casper, I'm writing to request a construction of a bathhouse for my wenches. They are proficient in the art of washing and providing a varied range of other services for your merry men. Well, that sucks because the merry men are dead. <laughs> That's a shame. They didn't last. All right, let's assign uh we're going to assign two families here for now. Now they should go and uh, construct the... The wild animals. The hunting lodge. All right, the hunting lodge is built. So I'm going to put uh, this person on the hunting lodge. That person is going to go on the logging camp. We are going to need the woodcutters camp, like, immediately. So I'm just going to assign that to Max. So these guys are going to chop down the trees. And then we also need to get the marketplace going, like, right away. So I think uh, the marketplace will just go here. Make, like, a small little marketplace square. Okay. Boom. All right. Marketplace will go there. And screw it. I might even... I might even upgrade that to a worker's camp, but we'll see. <clears throat> All 
All right, do we have that? Woodcutter's camp. Come on, baby. Great. So this guy will be on that. This dude will be on the logging camp. All right, we already have five timbers. So we'll start building the homes right away. So I'm going to need, I'm going to need 10 lumbers. I'm just going to do the whole batch at the same time. Come on. New campaign. Yeah, we're trying to do this on the most difficult settings possible. I failed the first time, but I'm gonna really, I'm gonna try the next time. Yeah, we're gonna try again, obviously. It's very, very challenging, but I kind of like it. All right, there we go. We got the 10 timbers. Winter start, a bu yeah, a bunch of shit's cranked up. Bandits everywhere. We're getting raided within the first year. Uh, okay, the archery tower didn't work. I thought, dude, I thought the archery tower supplied it, okay? All right, that should be good. That's going to be our plots. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, an unassigned family needs to work construction. There we go. Yes. Come on, boys. Come on. Build the homes. So we got to be super quick. Build the homes. Before the families leave. Because people are getting fucking pissed. Yeah, another ruler's army was sighted. That's fine. Build the homes. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Yo, Aldebert, thanks for the 10 month sub. Welcome back. If you think any more fish puns, let me know. Wow. The tanning? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We'll get we'll get to that in just a second. Tanning is important, though. You are correct. Actually, why don't... Let's get that going now. Yeah, that will immediately boost morale. We're like threading the needle here. Okay, so for this guy, I still think we're gonna go trapping. I think it's the most essential one for us to survive right now, because we got no other food source in the winter time. That's why this time I built the hunting camp in the woods. So that should that should help a lot. Don't you need one more house? I think we need five houses. Five houses. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, come on. All right, we got the tannery going. So next, we gotta build the church as soon as humanly possible. So where's the stone? Okay, let's go. Church has to be erected as quick as we can. So just for, for reminder's sake. Ten stone. And then we got to do the sawmill after that. Oh no, families want to leave the town. 
Dude, but everyone's got a home. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Everyone's got a home. There's, you know, we got the tannery of cooking. What the fuck's up with this? A family's probably gonna leave. No heating? No, we got firewood. It should bounce back. It should bounce back. It's not bouncing back. People are gonna leave. It's fine. Wait, dude, what? Why? We have food, we got fuel, we got leathers in the market. 13%? Why? Yeah, I don't really understand. We're not getting any of the positive benefits. I feel like, I feel like that's not right. Oh, jump up the third. It's because it's nighttime. On the day night cycle, they don't work at nighttime. They don't work at nighttime. Okay. So now the cycle is just cosmetic. Well, I don't know what was going on with that, but. We got to build a sawmill. Right away. Sawmill. Highest priority. Build the sawmill. Yeah, we got to push the church. Can't build the Burgage Plots level 2 without the church. Okay. Now, start... We need more workers here. Start working at the saw pit. How many uh, timbers do we got? We got 15 timbers. This guy can pop off of the timbers real quick. I'm going to set him over to the hunting camp. And I'm gonna set the um, the hunting limit to like seven. Oh yeah, water. Yeah, good point. Yeah, where's the water? Oh, that is very convenient. Let's go, people. Perfect. The water is pretty much just for putting out fires though, but still. Oh, unassigned family needs to be used for construction work. We'll unassign the the the, the woodcutter because he's full. He'll build the he'll build that up. Now, in the meantime, we will try to construct another few homes just to see if some more families will move in. Okay. Where's the church going? Anywhere. We got 286 days to get this shit rolling. 286. Come on, baby. Yeah, no, at nighttime. At nighttime, the approval rating goes down. Let's go, people. I'm not crazy. Because there's no food, there's no clothing, and there's no uh, firewood in the market at nighttime. No one's working the... Yeah, no one's working it. So, that's crazy. I'm not... Yeah, turning on day-night cycle. They actually do leave. And then they come back. See? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Turning it on actually does make it harder. That's kind of dumb. That the villagers sleep? What? Yeah, a family just left. Fuck! I just need a few more planks.
Five more planks. Also, it's March, so we can get the berries going, too. But I just... We, we need the planks for the... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right, there we go. Get to work, right? Where's the berries? Okay. Let's get her going. Yeah, there's only, f only four families. I feel like we're getting way more negatives this time around than last time I did this. Not enough food variety. It's like way, it's way worse. You know, I don't, yeah, the church. Yeah, we, we got to build the church. Okay. You had twice the food variety. Well, no, no, no. Only, only at this point, though. We can't. It's impossible for us to pick berries in the winter time. It's not possible. It's impossible. Okay. Uh. Oh man, this could be tight. We're gonna be threading the needle. Winter berries. Yeah, you can't pick winter berries. I think I'm fucked. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. Shit! Another family left. Yeah, no, we're fucked. Damn! Yeah, the approval, the approval rating went down so fast this time. It's probably because the day-night cycle like they're not working for a very long time. They're all sleeping. Yeah, they're, we're done. Let me see if I, I mean, let me see if it's possible for me to salvage, but. No, no, nah, it's game over. Fuck! Listen, I know it's, I know it's possible. I know it's possible. But it is, it is hard. I know, dude, it's possible, but because we did it last time, we just, we have to thread the needle. Damn. Damn. We have to thread the needle. It, this could actually be impossible. No, it's possible. We made it through last time. We just chose a different strategy. We didn't have day-night cycle last time. Well, I turned it on eventually. You didn't have day-night at the start. I think what we just need to do is I just got to be more efficient. I just got to be more efficient. But what, what if I tried to do the homeless people's tent right away? Just gotta play better. I think I think it is the honey is the second source of food. Ooh, I like that idea actually. But we don't have enough people to work it really. No, no, we would, we would, we would.
Okay. We have to get the we have to get the pelts. That's number one. Yeah, going from thirty-eight to zero approval rating in the nighttime is absolutely brutal. Listen, if we fail this time, I'll turn the day-night cycle off. Okay, uh, so we're going to start with the hunting camp. It does need to be in the woods this time. We'll start with the hunting camp there. Or wait, no, no. no. I'll, I'll put it in the woods. I'll put it in the woods. Hunting camp here. The stone camp's going to be there. The logging camp. Just be here. And then the marketplace. We'll just be here. All right. You look away for five minutes. Yeah, the, uh, they, I got screwed with the approval rating dropping at night. So, because technically no one's working the market at nighttime. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, not again. Dude, fuck. It's only at the start. It's only at the start of the simulation. Fuck. Um. I know this is possible, fellas. We will get it. We will get it. All right, here we go. I think I'm good on all that. All right, we can do it. I'm going to save it again. Yeah, we got Dilla Man. Thanks for the nine months sub. Welcome back. Benny, thanks for the prime sub. We got uh, Aldebert again. Thank you. All right. Where are we starting this time? I'm going to save. Open up with the save so then that doesn't have an issue. Okay. Arguably a way better start this time, though, to be, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. I think we actually lucked out on the RNG pretty good. Okay. I would like to not chop down the berries for wood, but I mean, I can set, I can assign it. All right, we're gonna put the loot, the woodcutter camp here and then we'll put the hunting thing here. Okay. Are the non-custom difficulties too boring? I already completed it. So yeah, I think so. I think this is, this really, this amps things up by a consi- cons CONSIDERABLE DEGREE! Man, I never really crashed this much uh, yesterday. Good thing we- Wait, where's my save? Where's my save? Dude, where's my save? You're loading the autosave. There we go. 
Got it. Shit. The fucking snow already hit, though. Oh, boys, we're freezing our tits off already. Okay. Oh, I can't do it. Now it's just pure winter now. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we can do it though. I'm. We can do this. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. Oh wait, what? The hunting, the hunting thing moved. Oh. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. No, oh, ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. We can do it. Gear can move. Well, it's technically like I saved it at the very beginning. I'm gonna keep popping the save. All right. Uh, woodcutter's camp. We're gonna slap that bad boy right there. And uh, mark it. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a market right here. All right, I'm also gonna I'm gonna just keep rocking the save because this I only had this bug happen a few times, but I'm pretty sure it's like when I just start the sim at the very beginning. So <sighs> let's go, fellas. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. Not sure what is up with that. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's the snow. Yeah, I don't know. Reboot. She's fucked, my lord. Restart computer. Maybe we'll see. See if it crashes again. Uh oh. I'm gonna send in clothes this time. Uh oh. I th I definitely found a repeatable crashing issue. Repair the files. Might just have to make a new game. Or maybe let, let me not speed up time this time. Let me just let shit marinate. Let me also go over here or something. It's when the ox hits the woodcutter's lodge. How about this? Let me do that. Let me do this. Let's shake things up a little bit. I want to set the hunting camp as the highest priority. You think it's the invisible shovel guy? You know, maybe. They don't have shovels this time, that is true. Splendid work on the roof, good sirs. It is. Splendid. Splendid work on the on the roof, my son. I s alright, there we go. Fuck! <laughs> no! 
All right, we gotta we gotta do we gotta do a new game. I think it was something when when the game crashed right away and I rocked the save. I think we just got stuck in a crash loop. The fast forwarding seems to do it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Crashing simulator? Ah, it's a little, you know what, man? This is early access. It's a pre-release version of the game. We played for the last couple of days straight with no crashes. I think it's just, um, there must just be something with the winter start that's causing some problems. On some, like, on some things, on some starts. All right. Maybe too many saves? Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we got to that we we just started crashing off at, like at the very beginning on our last playthrough. So Oh man, not nearly. I mean, this is kind of like a similar start that we had that one time, but All right. Save. Should it maybe saving the game right now is what's causing it? Can I delete these? Let me let me delete these saves. There we go. I do. No, no, I got a code. We'll be checking that out tomorrow. I'm going to be playing with uh, Jesse and uh, Vel tomorrow. They uh, asked me to do some duos or some some group some group stuff. So we're going to be checking them out, checking them out, checking out the game tomorrow. Uh, but I appreciate the offer. Yes, I'll be playing Gray Zone Warfare tomorrow. Yep. All right. Lumber camp. I'm hoping that uh, things don't immediately crash. track their movement all right let's build so the main problem that i had last time was i enabled the day night cycle where the people weren't working at nighttime so um with a winter start with the day night cycle as you can see everyone goes back to the camp or but maybe there was maybe there just wasn't enough family members to work on it all right, we're gonna do log storage. We got this guy. Now I'm gonna rock a save. All right. Um, so we'll do the marketplace here. Marketplace. Okay, we got the marketplace. That's a pretty big marketplace. Um, so yeah, time is of the essence. So we need, there's two things that we got to build really quick. We need to build houses. We need to build the tannery and we need to build the church. Like defense well no we can't even think about defense yet because our villagers will leave the town if we don't do that so well yeah we can't even that's not even on the menu because the approval rating will be lost so fast that we won't even be able to work on that so 
The most important thing to keep the approval rating happy right now, I think, is the homes. So we need to get the people logging as quick as possible. And then with the logs, they'll build the homes. We're going to go homes, tannery, stone cut church. Like, it's got to be tight. We don't have a whole lot of time. So... And, uh, I'm going to set the, I'm going to set the hunting limit down, like, really low. Yeah, we're going to go honey this time. Yeah, we're going to definitely go, we're going to go stone cut sawmill church. Yeah, but there, if we don't build the homes, then they're going to die. They're going to leave. So we got to build those first. Oh, we also got to get, we got to get wood, wood, woodcutter camp. Woodcutter camp comes first. A family is hungry. Okay. We got three timbers. I'm going to pause. So we're going to do, I guess it doesn't matter because without the houses, they, the, you know what I mean? Going for the woodcutter, go, going for the woodcutter camp for the firewood is useless right now because they don't even need the wood cut. So we're going to go with the burgage plots. So in order for me to build... I also, like, not everything needs to have a workshop. We only need one workshop. Someone needs to hunt. They, I think someone's already hunting. Yeah, we already have somebody hunting and meat's coming to the market right now. Uh... Is this game even fun? Oh yeah, yeah, it is really fun. I'm just, I've beat the uh, the game on like its regular difficulty. I am playing on really dumb settings that may not even be possible. I'm trying to make it possible. I'm trying to force my way into making it possible. Might not work though. Dude, that still is six. It's still, the workshop space doesn't add more wood. So, okay, so we're going to need uh, 10, 10 logs, like right away. 10 logs. Surely you'll find a way. I'm sure we'll find a way. I'm, I'm hoping we can. Ten, ten, ten to 10, 10 to 10, 10, 10. Seven. Eight. Come on, boys. Come on. All right. You know what? Let's get the tannery going right now. Because that's going to immediately improve approval rating. We don't even have we don't even need fuel right now. Look at the approval rating. It's just going fucking skyrocket to the ground right now. Skyrocket into the grave. She's going down. I need one more log. Come on, boys. Build. The homeless camp needs the fuel. Okay. This is done. And then... That's five homes with five workshops. Boom. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go, people. Okay, come on. So we got the woodcutter, woodcutter's lodge. We got the tannery that should be supplying food to the market. So that's going to be a nice little morale boost. But I'm getting none of those bonuses, just like last time. Oh, we got it. We just got it right there. Okay. Oh. Uh... Oh. Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> wow. Thanks for the $5. I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like that's... Sometimes the lower you go, the better it is when it comes to the dad jokes. I'm going to give you a 1 out of 8, but that probably is what you're after. Yo, Reasonable, thanks to the 11-month sub. Tim Sicko, thanks to the 73-month resub. Um... Dilla man, thanks to the nine month sub. Benny, thanks to the prime sub. No, you don't need to build all the homes at once. I don't. But if I don't build all the homes at once, then there's still going to be negative approval rating. So I might as well build them all at once. Because if I don't, you know, if, if I only build a couple, we're still going to have the homelessness status. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I might as well just like get the resources farmed up for it and just send it. Um, so yeah, we're, so uh, let's just take a minute here. So we got the five houses, the moment that these are done. So we're going to put these at highest construction priority. Highest construction. Not if you upgrade the workers camp. Well, the workers camp provides a cruel living space for five families contrary to the burgage plots can't be upgraded or expanded and may cause a small loss of approval so because on uh this difficulty our approval rating goes skyrocket to the floor for literally anything this doesn't solve our problem because my my approval rating is still going to tank super fast so crude so not not cruel cruel though and crude but it's uh it's not really going to solve my issue right now um yeah this is also not the standard difficulty i want to make it very clear what i'm doing right now is this is i think the hardest you can set the game so this is not the normal experience if you want to watch like what it normally is like you can just watch like the last couple of days but because we beat the regular difficulty without a whole lot of difficulty um this is a considerable challenge this really amps it up Really amps it up. Plus, we also need the Burgage plots to get the small village perk. So. You can beat the game. There's different campaigns, yeah. Come on, boys. Build the house. Build the house. Build faster. Build faster. Build faster. Come on. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Okay. It's honey time. So, okay. Approval rating is dog ass right now. Approval rating is dog ass. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dude off of logging. We're immediately... Oh, I need the planks. Okay, we need to build the sawmill anyway. We're gonna put the saw, the saw plant right there. And we're also going to build the stone cutter right now. We're gonna do both. Still not making enough firewood right now. Not too sure what's going on with that, but let's run the simulation. You suck, my lord. Bro. This is rough. This is extremely hard. Okay. We're going to put the person on the saw pit. To make the two planks. Oh, 
Oh, this is the long night that I was talking about. Look, at nighttime, no one's at work in the market. This is where the approval rating tanks. And we're probably going to lose a family. No one's working the market. It counts. Even though there's food in the market, there's fuel in the market. Ah. Ah, it, it jumped back up. We survived the night. We survived the night. We're back. Please don't lose a family. We lost the family, I think. Or no, maybe not. But I need I need this uh We need this saw pit. The guy's gotta come over here and work the saw pit. I will say, because of the ox demand, the saw pit people are always so slow. Like, where is he? Like, where are these guys? I need these guys to come over. Like, they're just chilling in their house, taking a break. I need you guys now. They're not coming over to the saw pit. I don't know what's up with that. All right, here we go. Come on over. Cut the logs. All right, we got the planks. Pause. Move this guy off. We need to build the honey. Right here. Right across the market. Highest priority. This person, build the stone cutting camp. Put the other person on stone cutting. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't have a log. No, no, the ox. Yeah, we only have one ox. So the other ox was probably building the stone cutting camp. Generic storage is full. That's fine. Build the honey. Build the honey. Build the honey. Build the honey. We're losing it. We're losing it. Build the honey. Okay. This guy goes off of stone. This person goes on saw pit. We need 20. 20 to 20 planks. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go on a limb and say I think I think nighttime is too hard, but Get to work. but we'll see if if we can survive this night, we'll be okay. But we'll see. We do have a honey in the market, though. That should help the approval rating a little bit. But it's nighttime. No. No! Fuck! No, I on my first attempt we died to the first raid. I tried to build a manor tower, but it was it, we it didn't work. I only had five troops. This is our second attempt. The second attempt we're going for level two burgish plots and a Fletcher. It's going to be tight, though. It's going to be really tight. Okay. Good news is, it's also springtime. So at least we survived the winter. Yeah, I don't, I don't have enough... Uh, I don't have enough, uh... Oh, you know what we could do? We could set the hunting family onto the berries. That might not be a bad idea. But anyway, we don't have time for that right now. We need to get this church built immediately. This needs to be 20 planks. Come on. Get me some 20. Oh. He's done. He's got no more logs. Hey, give us a hand over here.
Go chop down some trees real quick. If we don't build this church, the families will leave. So we need five logs. Actually, we need six logs. We need six. No, one's in the tank. Oh, it's nighttime. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Alright, the, the woodcutter is good, actually. The woodcutter can probably go do something else. Maybe. Yeah, the woodcutter can pop over to the sawmill real quick. Alright. There. And now he can pop back over here. Alright, there we go. I keep getting new messages and conversation from the Baron. It's fine. Now, we just need... A few more timbers. Oh, no, we're good on wooden church. Wooden church. Go, 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 go. Bill Nye the science guy. Go, go, go. Go, go. Build it. Build it. Build it. Yeah, when we build the church, it's going to be the biggest morale boost. So we need to try to build this, but it's nighttime too. We need to try to survive this. I need, we can lose one family, but I can't lose two. Build. Build. It's fine. We have 243 days until the attack. I think this is gonna work. I think this strategy is gonna work. If we can be the, if, if the church can get built, we should be okay. Homes, you definitely got enough work. I can't build homes. So no one's going to move into the homes anyway because my approval rating is so low. They need to build the church. Number one, they got to build the church. Is this still the archery strat? This is still the archery strat, yeah. But we can't upgrade the houses until the church gets built. So I can't, I can't get a Fletcher. Ah, oh, we got our food stolen. It's fine. Hurry up, please. Oh, we're missing a timber. No. Somebody stole the log. We need more workers here. Berry time. I'm kind of making honey. I feel like the honey is probably going to be... The honey's fine for now for the two varieties of food. Actually, we're going to lose out on the meat because they stole the meat in the night. Anyway, uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to get this guy off of here. I'm going to get him to build the berry hut. Okay. Let's get to work. Come on, baby. Everything rides on this right now. Everything. Everything. Dude, it says 3 out of 10 on the stone, though. Do we not have enough stone? What happened to the stone? I was able to place it. Did it get damaged? Did it get stolen? What happened to the stone? It's gone. Yeah, it's uh it's really rough. We're this this is like I'm so stressed right now. Alright, that's the Baron. The Baron is going after some units. They shouldn't be coming for us. 
Yeah, this is this really sucks. It this, this it's coming down to the wire right now, and it, it it's coming down to these two constructions that are happening in the middle of the night. It's coming down to the wire. Like, church, come on, finish it. They're going to bed. They're going to bed. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Finish the church. Wake up. <sighs> Fuck. All right. The church is built. Amazing. Okay, good. The church is built. I'm saving the game. Okay, church is built. They gotta build the forge hut. Like right away. Forge hut, forge hut, forge hut. Build, 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 build. Alright, this guy goes over here. These people can just we have time. We have time to chill. I think this guy goes to the berries, and then maybe this guy. Maybe both people go in the berries, maybe two people on the honey. Two people on the honey right now, one person on the berries. In the winter time, we'll move the forage hut onto the hunting camp. So this should give the wild animals some time to reproduce. Okay. So that's going to improve morale. Pretty good. So here's the burgage plots. So we need to have two types of food supply and we need to have water access. So I kind of forgot about the water. Water access right across the street. Water access. So we need to upgrade these plots. I think we got it, guys. Personally, I think we got it. I think we got it. I'm excited. I think we're through. What the fuck is the burger house? Tannery? We already got the tannery. Tannery's good. Tannery's good. We got the tannery. We're going to put this guy back on the honey. And now we just need to camp this out until the honey people bring the honey into the market. Which might take a second. The honey people need to bring the honey to the market. So I gotta, I gotta catch it at the right time. I might need a granary. Oh. There is honey in the market. A granary. They just gotta wait for the, oh. Fuck, I need logs. No. No. Start chopping. We need more oh. here. I'm so, dude. We only have 190 days. Hundred and eighty-eight days. There's the war bow boy. Okay. But wait a second. How am I supposed to build it if I don't have money? Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck.
Dude, this is insane. How, how, how do you do this? I guess we have to get the regional wealth from the Burgage plots. We just gotta put all, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. We generate regional wealth from the Burgage plots. Fuck, dude. No, 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 I didn't fuck it. I didn't fuck it. I just forgot. We're gonna generate the regional wealth from here. No, 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 I can't do trading post. Trading post requires money to establish the trade route. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Can't kill the bandit camp. I can't raise a militia. I have no, uh, I have no uh, arms. On this difficulty, we're not given weapons at the start. And I can't do the uh, manor because, uh, well, I could try to build the manor at the same time, but the retinue can't kill 18 bandits. We've already been down that road. We're, okay. All I gotta do is we have to min max build these homes. We have to min max build these homes. Oh. Come on, boys. Chop down the trees. Okay, we got one. So just to make sure, this is going to be... Oh, whoa, it doesn't cost money. It doesn't cost money. It does not cost money. It doesn't cost money. I thought it did. It only cost... It only cost... It only cost planks. It only cost planks. We're saved. It doesn't cost 25 uh, units like the other ones do. Yes! Thank fuck! I need to save it. I need to pee. This is it. Alright. Just, just, just chill. This was... I gotta say, man. This was incredibly hard. <laughs> I'll be right back. Stress piss. I feel like I feel like we can relax now, dude. I feel like we can relax. Okay. So, how many men do I have? So, we we so we need some more houses. So, we're not completely out of it yet, but the fact that we have the Fletcher shop already, uh that should take some of the pressure off. You have 10 men, 10 bows. No, we can, we can do it with 15, I think, but we'll need more people. We got time. We got 169 days. I, I, you know what? We might be able to, we might be able to build the manor as well. If we had some bows and the retinue. Oh yeah. I think we can do it. 
I don't think it I don't I don't think it'd be that difficult for us to do both. No, the tower, the tower's overkill right now. We almost did it with just the five retinue. If we have if we have the the archers, then we should be okay. Manor takes two families. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just let's just build let's just build more more burgage plots and level them up to level two. Wait, who where where Alright, get off of there and we need Oh. Oh right, because the Fletcher takes the spot. Oh balls. This guy's gonna have to juggle Let's get to work. from one spot to the other. We need more families. All right. Yeah, see the Fletcher's gonna need the planks. Yeah, right now we just need more people. We just need more people. Oh yeah, you can see what these guys are doing every time as well. All right, sweet. We're gonna upgrade that house as well. And I think I'll have to take somebody off the tannery at the same time we'll take the guy off the tannery because we can't take the person off the food so i need uh we need to build another home plot too small Okay. I'll take this guy off the tannery briefly. You need 50% for more people? Yeah, don't worry. But we still need the spot for more people. I think it will go up. I think it will. Lack of entertainment. Minus eight. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? We have to build a tavern? How the hell am I supposed to get beer? Need some horseshoes. Uh, I don't know where the... Oh, we got a settlement upgrade. Okay. I think we need trade logistics. We're going to need it. 100%. It's 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 going to be needed. We have to. Trade logistics is required. We need it. Cuz then once we get 25 regional wealth, I'll be able to start uh, the next the next development point, we can do candles. And then I can start exporting candles and, and, and hides and stuff. So we're going to... Oh, I don't know. I just didn't name our town yet. Whoa! Minus 25 approval rating in the middle of the night, dude. Let's get to work. That's brutal. Dude, these approval ratings that are tanking in the middle of the night is just is just too much too much tuna, dude. 
Oh, you know why? It's because I updated. I, 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 oh no. I went to the next. I went to the next level and now the church isn't good enough. No, it's not that at all. Their demands have increased because I leveled up the town. Oh no. I might have to reload. I'm gonna have to reload. Man, this is insane. <laughs> it's so hard. It is almost impossible. I think it is, I think it is possible, but it's, it's almost impossible. All right. I'm going to reload back to here. All right. So now that I know I, I can't, uh, the night cycle made it two times difficult. Yeah, it really did because they, it's just like in the middle. So whenever this upgrades, we can't choose the point because the moment that we do, they're going to, they're no, it says church level too low. They still complain, but it doesn't seem to be as much. They're not complaining as much. So, yeah, tavern supply. Oh, but they are in a way. Right? Like if I if I upgrade this burgage plot to 2, their demands increase. Man, I don't really I don't know how to I don't really know exactly how to do this then. I'm not too sure how we can increase our approval rating. I mean, I can I can always um No one in the church? No, no, no. That's a grave digger. I don't think that actually church level too low. They want me to upgrade the church. I mean, it doesn't It isn't that hard for me to do. The peasants are going to peasant. Overthinking to the max now. Dude, I have to. Because like if it when this goes a little bit lower, our villagers will move away. Just play? No, 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 no. It's not that hard. It is that it is that hard, I promise you. I promise you it is. In fact, now that I've reloaded the save, I don't actually get to see how many days are left until the raid comes. I think we I think it's only like 160 days. Fuck. Yeah, I don't get I don't know how much time until the raiders show up. <laughs> You do need to upgrade the church. Yeah, I think I think we're going to need to upgrade the church to make people happier. And I should be able to I should be able to upgrade the church before the raid happens. But we also need to have somebody working at the sawmill so this guy can make the bows. So Oh wait, wait, this is a burgage plot too. Oh, shit. We reloaded the save before this became a Fletcher. Okay, let me just make sure I get that done right. Okay, so that guy is now the Fletcher. Let's get that going. Oh, there it is. It's popped back up. 166. 167. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Okay, so there's the Fletcher shop. 
So he's going to start making us the bows for the military. We will be able to do 12 archers. 12 archers should be able to, I think I think we should be okay with 12. No oxen family? Bro, we only got five families right now. Okay. Okay. Backyard food, uh, veggies. Yeah, we need uh, regional wealth for that, though. So if I upgrade these do to these guys to burgage plots, we should be able to get more regional wealth. No, no, no. I can't build the manor because it uses the families. Right now, it's a problem of approval rating versus how many people want to move in so tax them your your families need to start having some alone time yo curse tomato thanks to the 25 month sub zombie thank you for the 18 month sub zandy thanks to the 22 month sub S uh Sivius, thanks to the 10 month sub and akira thanks to the 22 month sub yeah 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 you're right don't don't we shouldn't upgrade because that will tank the approval rating Let's just work on building more homes and let the Fletcher make his bows. That's it. I just need like two more families to move in. That's it. Or at least one more. If we have one more family, that should help. So we'll do that. We'll make some more. Um... Hmm. Now, who is going to get moved? So the clothing in the market is extremely important. So maybe the fuel guy, the woodcutter's lodge. No, he's already gone. He's on the sawmill. The sawmill guy needs to be there to make some bows. Let's move him briefly off of there and onto the onto the lumber camp. Never mind, he just disappeared. I don't know what the fuck happened to that guy. He's gone. I have no idea where he went. He just went. He's fucking gone. Maybe he died, my lord. Maybe. We, I feel like what I might have to do is take the person off the honey briefly. I think that's what it's going to have to be. He's got to go off the honey. This person's got to start chopping logs. We don't need to have two sets of food right now. So, but we do need some logs. So, we'll get a couple of, we'll get a couple of timbers. I'd say we'll get four timbers. Four timbers and the person goes back on berries. Access weapon storage. He's got two bows. But he can... He looks like he can hold 30 bows. So he should be okay. He's already making war bows. That's two timbers. Oh, wait, these guys, I think these guys are automatically going from the Fletcher shop to the saw pit to make um, planks to make the bows, it seems. It look, at least it looks like that to me. Let me just double check here. Okay, there we go. This person can pop off of here. They can pop back over there. And, or briefly. We're going to see if we can make one more house. Or two more ho two more homes. Cost four. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can survive the night. Now, flow pit, we need weapons, bud. We need weapons. 
We're going to get attacked in 148 days. We already tried the manor strategy to get the, um, whatchamacallit, the merry men of dingleberries. They didn't really work. So we need bows. We need, like, more militia to do it. But we're kind of just, like, riding a fine line of my people wanting to leave the village. It's a fine line. All right, they're almost done at that house. Come on. Oh yeah, no trade, we, we can't because uh, we don't have any regional wealth. So we have to generate it slowly. But the more, the more houses that we upgrade to generate regional wealth, the more their demands are and the approval rating goes low. So we're trying to uh, just manage everything just enough to survive. If the approval rating goes well, it's low enough where people can leave the town. It's just uh, at nighttime, the approval rating is worse because nobody's working the market. So it always tanks at nighttime. So hopefully not enough clothing variety in the market. Lack of entertainment. Church level too low. Not enough food variety. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Out of logs. Get to work, yeah, this is tough, man. I feel like... I I feel like... Um, Let's go, people. It's not impossible, but it pretty much almost is. <laughs> it's, it's It almost is. I might have to turn the night off in order to do it. But... Fuck, bro, this is so hard. You can trade without setting up trade routes. How? Really? You can? Do you need 50% for new families? I, I don't know. I actually don't know. Yes, you can. How do I trade without a trade route? There are goods you can sell without a route. Ooh, what are those goods? Do I need just build a trading post and set goods to export? Not every good requires a trading post. Or a, a trading route. Let's see. I'm... What's the food like? Okay. Yeah, we just... I need one family, man. We need one more family. Wandering traders will still come by and buy the goods. What are we going to export? Firewood? I guess firewood. Or something. Whatever we can, actually. Whatever we can. No, I have seven homes. No population growth approval levels too low. We need more work to do. We have nine bows. 79 days before the raider attack. We definitely need some more bows. 
So we're going to prioritize making those bows. But what happens if nobody's working the trading post? Build the manor now? I can't. Don't have enough. We don't have enough families to manage the approval rating to build the manor. All right, what do we got here? A dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region and trade only this specific type of good. Okay. Um, all right. So we could just, maybe we could try to export some planks. Or yeah, okay, 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 okay. No, I understand, but I, I didn't think you'd... I, I thought I needed to purchase the trade route in order for this to actually happen. Okay. I wonder, do we need to have somebody working the trading outpost, though? Probably. We'll have to micro this a little bit. I think. But there's only two months until the raider attack. So I don't think we got... I, I think that ship has sailed. We need to put the guy on sawmill. We need to juggle saw pit and logging camp so he can make the final bows that we need. And then any extra bows, we can try to sell them to people that pop by. I think that's what the plan's going to be. Let's do it. That's the plan. We got to make the final bows. 65 days until the raiders attack. You can't sell military or crafted goods without the route, only the food and raw materials. Okay, we'll we'll figure that out if we survive. We gotta make the bows. That's the that's the that's the thing we gotta do now. We gotta get prepped two months until they come and try to fuck us up. Homelessness. Oh. Just lack of entertainment. Okay. Jump Let's on the saw people. pit. We got 15 bows, baby. 15 bows. And we have 12 men. Oh, no. That's how we're going to have to do it. I mean, it might work. We're basically going to have to set... This isn't going to work. You need the manor guys uh, uh, also. There is no... There was no time. There was no time for me to do both. Yeah. Like, if... Here's the thing, man. If I took the people off... If we took the families off to build the manor, then the families would have left. I only just had enough time to build these. So, maybe try now. You still got 52 days. 50, yeah, I mean, we, sh we could give it a rip. Might as well give it a try. Let's do it. I'm basically just going to sit here and watch the construction. 
So once it hits 15 stone, we'll reassign. Ah, those fucking bandits stole my shit. Okay. All right. Now we need five timbers. That's not bad. We have four already. Four already. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Well, we're gonna need more than that, I guess. We gotta make planks, planks, but we have one month. Keep chopping the trees. Maybe we need like seven. Uh, there, honestly, there won't be enough time. Well, actually, no, no. They still gotta walk to my base. They gotta walk here. There might be time. Stop the Fletcher. Pause this building. Good call. Let's get the dude on there and then see if we can build 20 planks. We're trying to build a manor, which gives us a retinue force of like five dudes. 20 days into the Raiders attack. We will try to build this while they're attacking us. Only oof. not enough clothing in the market. Don't leave me now. Okay, we got one more. Fuck. Someone's gonna leave. Stop it. Nighttime could not have happened at a worse time. Couldn't have happened at a worse time. Someone's gonna leave. Oh no! I'm one. Oh. Two days. An enemy has been spotted. All right, where do they spawn? All right, they're down here. Let's keep an eye on them. They're coming for us. There is a plan that I can do if the manor doesn't get built in time. And that is, uh, we are going to split the archers into two groups. One archer will be the bait force, and the other one will be in the rear. So one will engage physically, while the other one shoot in the back.
It, sh it, it, sh it could work. It could work. Oh, man. They are hauling ass, man. They are hauling ass. Um, there's no way that this is going to be built in time. So let's just get set up on the plan. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Nope, it's impossible. All right. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Did you say 20 archers? Well, I only have 10. <laughs> so. Damn, man, that sucks. They're still building it, but. Not the berries, my lord. Yeah, the berries are done. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Kite is a great idea. But their morale might break if I kite too much. They don't know what to do. They're, they're like, yeah. Dude, don't lose anybody. Why do we keep running? What are you talking about? Why are you question? Oh, we lost somebody. We survived. We survived the raid. Oh my god. We get to we get to see another year. Now, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. We should go out and try to kill the bandit camp then. That would be insane if we could do that. Um That, that would be really, really good. Where Where's the closest one? Uh, there's one over here. With nine peasants. Well, we could do the same strategy. But... No, if we go and take a bandit camp out, we get a bunch of regional wealth. Or treasury. We could get treasury and... Um, we, could, you, we can hire... We can hire... Um, yeah, anyway. Anyway, it's fine. No, the retinue, the retinue don't survive 18 bandits. They don't survive. 
But with the retinue plus five archers, they would. But this requires two families to, to operate, right? So how's that going to work? I guess we'll have to find out. All right. One, five berries, two meat, and the honey. Um, yeah. All right. Let's just wait for the manor to get constructed, I guess. Build homes. We got homes. The homes are built. People aren't moving in because the approval rating's too low. Um, we're going to need some malt. Yeah, we're going to need some booze. But in order for me, we're going to need a farmhouse. Oh, un, un, we need the we need the corpse pit. Seeing all the dead bodies is making people sad. Uh, does the tavern give approval rating even without booze? No. It needs entertainment. Fulfills one level of entertainment requirement for uh, burgage plots. Like many of your citizens, it requires ale to function. Yeah. Oh, you don't, we don't see the time for the, uh, for the bandits anymore, huh? Families may start leaving the town. Well. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm minus one plank? Why? Let's get to work. Probably because this guy is, no, this guy's paused. Dude. Fucking unburied bodies? Please build the corpse pit. Build it. Dude, this manor's never getting built. No graveyard at the church. No, the graveyard at the church is just for our people that died, which was one guy. And I'll get to that in just a second. The corpse pit needs to get finished though. It's taken forever to build. Please. Please build the... Please build the corpse pit. Please. Please build the corpse pit. Who's using the auger? I need to drill holes for the pipes. Get to work, man. Man, this is rough. Bury the bodies. Bury the bodies. Uh, this guy's. This guy. Oh, we we don't even have anybody on the bees right now. All right, you get off the woodcutter's lodge. Get, get on the church. Oh my god. 
Ah, uh, we we survived the fight only for the dead bodies to be enough for people to dip. Okay. I think that's it. I think we're good. Let's go, people. Really? Dude, I would like to finish the manor, but I don't know if we'll be able to. Oh, we might be able to. We might be able to. Doesn't the church have a graveyard? Yeah, only for the only for the regular people. Man, this guys, this is way harder than just what we were doing the other day. This is insane. This is insanely difficult. But I think once you break, once we break through, we'll be good. Same villages this morning. Now that one burned. We went for building the manor for the retinue, and they weren't able to do it. They weren't able to survive. Uh, I'm trying to see if we can finish up the manor, but it seems like we don't have... Yeah, we need somebody to work the planks. So I'm going to get this guy off the wood, the firewood real quick, and just see if they'll saw. There we go. And then we'll take him off of that and put him on there. There we go. We need more workers here. Uh, do you think it's a bug that approval tanks during the night? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, man. They just stole a bunch of supplies from us. That's kind of sad. Um, so, minor trade routes. Okay. So, yeah. Minor trade routes don't require us to set up. Yeah. Minor trades don't require us to set up a, uh, a trade route. But the major ones do. Yeah, the major ones do, it seems. So, we should probably set a couple of these up. But I can't, dude, there's a major trade route for the leather, which would be great. Build farms. Bro, there's no one to work the farm, brother. There's no one to work the farm. No one to work the farm. We could, we could export hides, but those are kind of in, uh, I have no leather because it got stolen, I think, by the bandits. Yeah, all, all the leather got stolen by the bandits. Uh-oh. Shit. Okay. We need... Hmm. I'm trying to think about what our next step is going to be. So, number one, we need to figure this out. We need to we need to solve our lack of entertainment and not enough clothes variety on the market. We need booze. In order for us to get booze, we need malt. So, uh, we where's what's up? What's up? What do we got here? Okay, well, good news is we have some good fertile land that's really good for, for barley. Upgrade the church. Yeah, an upgraded church will make the people happy. And that's something that shouldn't be that hard for us to do. We can, we can do that. We can definitely do that within the amount of time that we have. I like it. Let's start with that. The manor, like... At this point, I feel like the manor needs to be paused because I'm pretty sure residence for you and your retinue. Will this actually take up two families to operate? Will I lose two families? Maybe I will. Honestly, we should just pause this. Let's... No, I don't think so. Okay. 
Let's get the manor built then. Let and then we'll upgrade the church. That'll be the plan. And um, we have eight months of firewood, so I'm gonna set up a trade where, like, if any if any traveler wants to buy my firewood. Our, our desired firewood surplus is only going to be 30. So, because uh, 37 gives us eight months of fuel. That's a lot of fuel. Maybe even 25. Anything additional to 25, if someone walks and wants to buy some firewood, destroy the... It takes two families of servants. Destroy the level two house. Whoa, I'm not destroying the level two house. But do they do they do they provide the servants? Maybe the servants are provided. If I need two families to serve the manor, we're definitely pausing it for now. I don't got two families to spare. We don't need we don't need the retinue right now. I'm pausing the building. We don't need it. What we do need is the stone church. So let's do that first. God will be our focus. God wills it. Yeah. So we need um, 20 stone. Great. Man, the good thing is, it doesn't take long for us to collect the stone. Now, we're going to need to build a mining pit. So this guy's going to pop off of here real fast. And he's going to pop on to the lumber camp briefly. He's going to chop down a tree for me. Okay, chop down a tree for me. Now these guys are gonna... Oof, what happened to the family of stonecutters? Do we lose a family? No, it's just, it's just being weird. All right, the woodcutter goes back. Now we build this guy on the clay, which is ages... Wait, no, it's not, is it clay? Yeah, we need clay for the stone tiles. That's ages away. <laughs> All right. Number one priority. Come build this. That's ages away. Yo, angry man. Thanks for the prime sub. Also, I think we'll get raided like again sometime. So we got to be ready. But we'll do the dual bow strap. For Whoa, the next raid's probably going to have like 36 guys. We might not survive the next raid, but we'll see if we can get there. If we can just start getting people to move into the town, then I think life will be good. It's March. It's March, so I feel like... Um, let's get the firewood... I was going to see if we can get this guy. We're going to put this guy off of there and put this dude on berries briefly. And let's go. Build the mining pit. There should be an ox coming with a log. Unless the log already got used. I feel like the log already got loot, already got used. Dude, we only have two berries left. Oh God.
If you destroy the level 2 house, you're going to go over 50% and start attracting people. Yeah, but I don't I don't want to lose my Fletcher shop though. But I also lose the generational the regional wealth. Yeah. You also you also only have two berries. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Cuz that house is generating us some regional wealth. But you'll gain people. Maybe, but maybe not though. Who knows? Let's just stay on it. We're going to keep we're going to keep doing this. Come on now. Death by Snoo Snoo. Come on, boys. The peasants be eating one berry per month. It's actually not a bad idea for the... Uh oh, fuck. No. My berries. Those fucking bandits. Those bastards. They stole my fucking berries. God damn it. All right. These guys are going to mine the clay. And uh, now we need to build a clay furnace. Which, like, that could just go right there. So, woodcutting boy could just pop off of there briefly. We're going to need some more stones because this is going to require some stones, but it's fine. I really think a couple more families, dude. We just, I know we need more families. I know. But if we get the regional wealth up a little bit more, that's going to give us some good tools. I'll be able to, like, get some eggs or something like that in the back. You know? A ah, vegetable garden at 15 would be big. But, or eggs. I feel like eggs would be better. You know, if we're already saving up to 15, I feel like we should just wait for 25. But then again, a passive yield of hides would supply the tanning, and we never have to worry about balancing the food with the hunting hut. It's kind of a tough call. It's a tough call. It's a toughie. What happened with the raiders? We killed them. But they're probably going to be coming back at some point. Yeah, my plan for more families is building a bitchin' church. The church that is going to be unignorable. Meat sounds better. Food for a whole year plus leather. Yeah, but no, we... we uh, yeah, the wild animals are depleted too much, so... Eggs would add to our food variety, which makes people happier. Okay, so how much clay do we have? 14 clay. How much is needed? All right, we're good there. So you guys get away from the clay pit and pop over to the clay furnace. Also, if somebody wants to pop on over and buy my extra clay, they totally can. What else can we sell? Let me see. That's it. That's all. That's all I can. That's all I got. Firewood. Firewood and clay for sale. I could mine the iron and see if I could put that up too. That might not be a bad idea. Not the iron slab, but the iron ore. 
Ooh. Now, see, here's the thing. No one's... Ooh, herbs. Wait a second. I can establish a trade route for herbs. No, I, that's not bad. That's, that's, uh, that's not good. Return the slab. All right, let's go. These guys got to start making roof tiles. Roof tiles export for eight and take one to clay. I wouldn't have enough for the small church. I need 10 for the small church. Is the clay ratio one to one? Yep. Our, um, with 10 of our archers, it wouldn't be a terrible idea. I could, I could try to take out one of the bandit camps with 10 of my archers. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. We'd probably lose a guy in the process, but... There we go. Four. Listen, we're holding on right now. We're holding on. Come on, boys. What? What do you mean? What do you mean there's a band of raiders? What are you talking about? What do you mean there's a band of raiders? Where are they? I don't see them. Maybe they haven't entered the field yet. Where? Where? Oh. Okay. Well, we can eliminate these guys in the same way that we, we did before. Dude, food's a real problem, man. What if I just, instead of getting these guys on the berries, like what, like, I wonder is the honey production, like what the, what's the honey production like? Grow crops. Now nah, requires a lot of people to grow crops. We we're having a problem where we have not enough people. Damn that that would they they're raiding me fast. Go back to level one. I'm ignoring you. I've already explained why I'm not doing that. Because we're gonna be able to get a backyard production up and running in like three more regional wealth. We're building the church. That's the plan. We're building the church. Just a minor setback. We got a bit of a... We just got a minor setback. Minor setback. Fuck. All right. People can... The clay tiles sell for eight each. I don't think I can... Uh, I'm not, yeah, no, I have to do a major trade. I can't unlock that trade road right now because um, on the difficulty I'm playing on, it doesn't start with any regional wealth, so we need to generate it. We can't generate more regional wealth because our approval rating is going to tank even more. So, uh, yeah. Hold on. Ah! Now we still only have 10. 
Somebody had a baby though, so that's good. Bro, no! They stole the bandits, stole the clay. Those bastards. Those fuckers stole the clay. That's why, that's why we weren't making the tiles. The bandits steal a lot, honestly. Yeah, I feel like I kind of want to go and try to take out a bandit camp. Because then I could actually put the backyards. We could get eggs and veggies in the back here. And that would really help out a lot. You've got one free family? Uh, yeah, what the hell are they doing? They should be like... Oh, cutting wood. Okay, where are they? They're in the woods somewhere. Beautiful. Yeah, hitting him with the razzle dazzle. Hitting him with the razzle dazzle. I mean, they're dumb brigands. We're fine. They may have got the best to be here, though. Yeah, these guys are getting a little fatigued here, but that's fine. Run! I think. Yes, sire. Run. Run. Come on. Come on, boys. We're losing. We're running out of gas now. Quite literally running out of gas. Are you doing any damage at all? Yeah, I've killed eight of them so far. Run! 
Come on! I don't want to lose anybody. They should break soon. Yeah, they should. Come on, baby! Almost fatigued. Almost fatigued. I feel like they should break soon. Come on now. Come on, run! Run! Yes! Okay, we survived another raid. But they will increase their numbers. So I don't know how long it's going to take for them to do that, but... You know, it's going to take some time. We, we might lose a family here, though. There we go. Oh, the corpses. We didn't lose any. We didn't lose any friendlies this time, so nobody needs to work the church. A bandit camp was sighted. It would be nice to take out a bandit camp, though. I feel like taking out one bandit camp could solve a lot of our problems here. We'll get a lot of, like, money. Yo, we got a warm-up. Thank you for the 14-month sub. We got the real undead, thanks to the 7-month sub as well. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you. Once a manor? Yeah, the, man the manor's never getting built. <laughs> no, a ret my the ret you can't clean a camp, not not without uh, additional soldiers. So we'll need some more people. Two more months until veggies. Yeah. Uh, building the manor gave an extra. Um. Gave an extra family last time. I don't know. I thought it was supposed to take two families. I could always save it and see what happens, but how far are we until the church? Well, the bandits stole all my clay, so I haven't been able to make the tiles, which has been a major setback. So, yeah, it's been a pretty big setback. All right, bury the corpses. All right, they're carrying the corpses over to the corpse pit. Fire it into the corpse pit. Do you think this may be too hard? Well, I mean, I'm happy that it is hard because it's on the hardest setting, so... We lost the family. Six percent? Five percent? Another family left. Zero percent. Fuck. It's because nobody staffs the market. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give that a rip and see if that helps. It might actually be too late. Okay, um, we're going to put this person off of there. Or we're going to put this person on here. Yeah, I'm going to turn the day-night cycle off. I feel like deep down in my plums, you shouldn't lose approval rating at nighttime because people are sleeping and not in the market. 
I do feel like that is an oversight. And that's one of the biggest uh, reasons why I've been struggling so much on uh, on this run. It's like, yeah, when the people leave the market, the approval rating goes so low that uh, I can't, I can't, even if I'm, even if I have food in the market and I have like firewood, it doesn't count. You know, so it's, um, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. You don't go shopping at night because everyone's asleep. Right, yeah, so I feel like you shouldn't lose the approval. Man, lack of entertainment though, fucking A. So this is the last 30 days. So church level two low, unburied bodies. So we buried the bodies, I think. Those those should be buried. Um, Yeah, we can upgrade the church. And we if we can try to get another clothing variety that'd be huge those are the two that are really like the church should give me a nice little buffer i think the church is the easiest so we'll go with that first which is what i'm trying to do but the clay got stolen so we should have enough clay so if i go like that and hopefully the bandits don't steal the clay before I can make the tiles this time. Yeah, eggs would be good. Yeah, eggs at 25 would be good. I feel like eggs were probably going to be better than... Um, it's probably going to be better than veggies, but I can get veggies right now. So... It's kind of a, t it's kind of a tough call. Fuck the bandit stole. Those fuckers stole my clay again. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> I can't make the tiles because they keep stealing the clay. How do they keep stealing it? It's just a bandit condition if bandits are on the map. Um. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, no. Can I buy a goat? No, I can't buy a goat. Darn. Oh. Man, I this is so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Um Yeah, this is this is insane. It's like it's like if I move in one like direction, I just got fucked by the RNG so hard. I'm just trying to build this church. I think what I'm going to do is I might have to reload and go and take out a bandit camp. Yes. I think that's what we're going to have to do. But we're going to be threading the needle. I might, oof, I might have to take the suggestion and delete the Fletcher shop. Or I don't know if I can remove it. I don't think I can downgrade it. I would have to, like, I would have to demolish it. Entertainment would help a lot. I can't, can't, I can't. Damn, we got that's that's really rough. Um I might have to give up on the tiles. I'm going to put the person on the tile onto the honey. So close yet so far. I know, dude. I know. It's crazy. If we just, again, if we just had one more fucking family, it would be, 
it wouldn't be so bad. Um, so if I demolish this building, yeah, if I demolish this building, we're not going to be able to rebuild on this plot. So I'm going to have to give it a try. I know I was ignoring that other guy because I wanted the regional wealth for the for the uh, vegetables. But you know what? I think it's going to have to happen. But if we if we lose anybody at the bow shop, this is this is a long shot. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going to say I, I think I just saved it. I think it's the only way. I think it's the only way I could wait for 15. But I might not. I think I might lose a family before then. But that also frees up a family to do something as well. Because he's not fletching anymore. So, we got somebody over there. We got somebody... We got somebody doing berries. I'm going to set the fletching family over to Clay. Let's see if that helps. We shouldn't have a lack of entertainment anymore. The bandits just stole more shit! Yeah, they, I feel like the game is preventing me from building the roof tiles. We gotta kill them. It's like, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the clay to build the roof tiles, but every single time I get close, I can't. They got to die. Okay. If you deconstruct the manor, will you get the materials back? Uh, yeah, but they're not like crazy materials. They're not like too like I don't I don't really need them. What I could do though is construct the manor with the extra family and see what happens. And then use the retinue to go in uh and go and kill the bandit camps. I'm gonna do that actually. That's a good idea. And then just protect our war bows at all costs. That that is a solid plan. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. Yo, we got a uh, bad time. What's going on, man? Thanks to the 18 month resub. Welcome back. Let's see if this works. There, they should be getting the gathering the stone from the the stone mine, or the the quarry. Bringing it over. I still haven't built a storehouse, but that's fine. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, I was getting salty at that other guy, but I think he was right. The Fletcher shop is what's fucking me over. It was fucking me over. Flop Pit was right. And I just didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see it. I wanted my bows. But here's the problem. If we lose... If we... Uh, if we lose any of the archers, then we won't be able to remake the war bows. 51%. We're at 51%. There it is. It's like, I guess in hindsight, like if we're, if we're ever going to do that again, we still have to rush the Fletcher to make the bows, but once the bows are made, we needed to delete the plot right away like big time like instantly we make like 10 or 15 bows and then delete the building all right yo our approval rating should be good i need to i should probably try to build another um i should probably try to build another house 
Because, like, there's a really good chance that we can get another family to move in. That's fine. We'll do that. Was the guy right? He was right. Look at that. 60. We're at 57%. So why was the Fletcher decreasing approval? Because the needs of a level 2 Burgage plot were not being met. So he was just like trolling the entire community and making them miserable. Because he was bitching about wanting ale and uh, other things. He wanted entertainment and, and a lot of other shit. Oh, uh, we went down to 44% right there. I don't know why, but... Such a bitch move. His demands. We should have killed him. Well, I basically just destroyed his house. And, um... Those fuckers! Stealing my honey! We gotta, we gotta murder him. Running out of food. Yeah, they stole all of our food. Um, I think we'll be okay. But yeah, there's, they just stole all of our food. Are you winning, son? Barely. We are... We have been just skirting the edge of survival. But I think once we break through... Once we break through... Everything's going to be fine. All right, hold tight. I'm going to save it here. Because if this builds and two of the families get unassigned to work the manor, then I'm going to reload and pause it. Uh, no, I, I, the storehouse is fine because we're not generating enough supplies. This is, this is just for planks from the Fletcher that people aren't using, but... It's, it's not the lack of a storehouse. Unless, uh, the lack of a storehouse is causing our supplies to get... Oh, yeah, no, look. So, no, if we do... It does give us an additional family to run the manor. It doesn't actually, um... You, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't actually, uh... Take a pre-existing family. So, no. So you can always build the manor without risking losing the, uh, losing people on different jobs, Let's get to work. which is nice. Yeah, it gives you two additional families to the manor, which is good. Now, all right, we're learning a lot of stuff, though, I feel, on playing on this difficulty. This is the furthest, this is the furthest that we've made, for sure. The margin for error, though, is so, so tight. But that's fine. All right. We got the Merry Men, the Derp Squad. We got the Derp Squad again. They're back. We're going to go with, um, we'll go with Cash again. This time, we'll whip out uh, Mr. T, Mr. TB. We'll get uh, German. We'll, uh, we'll get, uh, let's see here. Who could we get? Another Mossy? We'll get Lars. And we'll get Big Hammer. And we'll give him a Big Hammer. There you go. Big Hammer with the Big Hammer. I don't even think I'm going to change him. Yeah, we're good. I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm happy. All right, so now I think what we can do is we could probably rally. Oh, wait, it's because that guy can continue to work that. We got to deal with the bandit camps in the area. So we're going to go and do that now. So we're going to rally the retinue. And I'm going to rally one set of archers, which is going to make... It's it's not going to... You know, it shouldn't be too bad. And where's the nearest bandit camp? 
All right, we got two camps over here. Hopefully only one comes to attack us. Oh, fuck. Walk. They need a walk. Not enough supplies. Ooh. Unburied bodies? Hey, Alright, that's fine. Unburied bodies. This guy needs to work the corpse pit real fast. Oh, wait, no. Unburied bodies. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's a pass debuff. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, as, as difficult as this is, I'm finding this way more entertaining to play. I don't know if it is to watch because I'm stressed all the time. <laughs> but it is definitely more entertaining to play at this difficulty. I feel like we're I feel like we're getting way more out of the game. Like it's it's like it's it's like we're getting more combat, and uh, I think we're we're getting more like of every little detail that I kind of started to neglect in the last campaign because things were way too simple. We were just kind of like handed everything on a platter. March! March! All right, so the retinue should be able to tank 16 brigands for a little bit. They should be able to. They're not going to die right away. Why not get the other five archers? Uh, because I don't need them. Because I don't want to take them out of the workforce. Here we go, boys! Fellas, catch up, please. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're golden. 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 Shit, they're not, they're not, like, friendly fire mode is on. We lost one of you guys. No. Stop cheering. Stop cheering. Stop cheering. Attack. No. Yeah, they switched, they switched sides. So, like, the archers stopped firing. Okay, well, sadly we lost one of you guys, but it is a sacrifice I, I guess I was willing to make, but we have this one too. Now, I don't know. Let's get this one first. So this is gonna go to the nearest town or I could buy mercenaries and then get them to go for the other one. We're going to do that. Okay, these we're going to send my troops back over here and we're going to disband them. And then I'm going to hire some mercenaries. I think the wayward sons will be fine. 45 bucks. 
not mercs by retinue no 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 you'll see what i'm gonna do you'll see what i'm gonna do a family is hungry that's not good All right, now we're going to get these dudes to go and take out the other bandit camps. In fact, this one is probably closer, I think. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We'll get them to go over here. And then the mercenaries will, will first off, we'll put one into the treasury. And then the next one will go into the town regional wealth. Okay, we have some major problems back home, though. We have food problems. So... These people can go off of clay. And they can go on here. The berries should still be coming along. And so should the honey. So what is going on? Okay, another bandit camp came in, so... You have more people to feed? I do have more people to feed, but we should be feeding them. We should be going for berries. The berries should be burying. There's zero, 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 and zero. Berry. No, there's still berries, though. We still have berry deposits. See, it's not completely depleted yet. Send the people off the honey and hunt. Yeah, that's a good idea. Berries are seasonal. Yeah, I know, but we still got time. We still got time. There's 43 at 64 berries before the snow kills them all. It's going fast, though. It's going fast. Berries suck. That's all we got right now, though. Yeah, they die by the winter time. All right. Yeah, as you can see, now we got some mercenaries. They are going to start taking out these bandit camps. Storage is full in the woodcutter's lodge. All right, how about you move to the to the honey spot while the wood's full? How about that? That'd be good. Stocks damaged by the winter time. The woodcutter's lodge. Yeah, we're gonna put this guy, we're gonna build the storehouse. And then we gotta build the, the granary, or whatever the hell you wanna call it. Okay, now this is gonna go to the nearest town. That's gonna gain us 210 regional wealth. Let's go and see if we can take out more bandits. Now, we are going to egg it up. We're gonna go full egg. Where's my town? So these guys are getting some chickens. We're buying some chickens. I think, honestly, I feel like I kind of want all eggs on this side because veggies are going to take a bit. So we get three, three eggs. I think we're going to go four eggs. And then we're going to go veggies on this side. Maybe, no, no, no. Uh, yeah. I guess I should have maybe had one 
hide. For, but we don't have we don't need that many right now. We need food. Food's more important than hides at the moment. Okay. Egg meta? Dude, egg meta. All right, let's put those guys. Let's put those guys up there. Um, yeah, tiles, roof tiles. I mean, the roof tile export. I can't do it. <gasps> well, we could get a dedicated trader for roof tiles, but I can only. I could only. Uh, that's not good. No, no. What we should do, because I'm I'm fucking stupid, is do the leather export. That's what we should do. And then I should get, I should remove these, even though it's a waste of money. But we have lots of bandits around. And we should make goat farms. And we should sell leathers. That's what we should do. Goat farm on this side. Goat farm, and then do a major trade for leathers. 100%. I think that'd be nice. You should just keep hunting bandits with those mercenaries before. Yeah, no, it's fine. Don't worry. These are cheap trades, though. Let's do it. I think. Or bees. Beekeeping these. Yep. Yeah, I'm doing it. I kind of wasted a little bit of money, but we should be able to get lots of money. Uh, we're going to establish a major trade route. We're going to do, we're going to set it as a, an export. And I'm going to make sure, how many people do we have? We have 25. So yeah, we'll, we'll always keep 25 leathers in here on the major trade and anything more we'll export. Now, I'm going to say, fuck these veggies. We're getting goats. For the steady, su the, the steady supply of hides. <gasps> I'm too poor. That's fine. Don't worry. Wait. No, no, no. Just, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's, we're going to, there's money up here to be had. We're going for it. There's money to be made. We just gained more regional wealth. All right. We, I don't even know how we did, but we just did. Regional wealth gain, 196. Okay, goats. Goats. Those, There's gold in those bees. Okay. Now, the tannery. Now we should start making some income. It's happening. Yeah, I think we finally broke through. It was all that damn Fletcher's fault. I think we broke through. Not enough food variety in the marketplace. See, that's going to be solved with the chicken eggs. And this guy can go on to honey now because the berries are done. Uh, or wait a second, granary. We, we build the granary. Chop down another tree, boys. Chop down another tree, please. All right. Not the storehouse. Not the storehouse. But the, gran the granary. Let's plop it right down here. All right. Now that gets built. Let's pop over to these guys real quick. There, we got four months of food. The Wayward Sons, we paid them 45 bucks again, but that should be all right. Those fucking bandits stole my clay again. They won't leave my clay alone. They won't leave it alone. This isn't even going to be a battle, so I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to speed through it. It's like, what do you even, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're going to go up here. Forward.
Okay. They seem very strong. They are, yeah. We got 72, 72 versus 18. It's like really nice and strong. So for this one, this is going to go into my treasury. And the next one is going to go into the town. The, tr the town. So we can pay for these guys for a little bit longer. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. And where's the... We want to get rid of all the bandits, if possible. While, we're, while we have these guys. Okay, now these will go to my town oh yeah now we're cooking with gas boys this is it this is it okay great um so let me see what we got here Yeah, the the clay, the clay, importing the clay without the perk is still, we're still going to lose money on it, I think. Maybe another ox? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I would like to buy some food. But we'll lose our money if I do. The hitching post doesn't have a road? Ah, well, I mean, it's just right there. It's fine. I mean, we could set the forager's hut to collect herbs, and then we could just sell the herbs. Because to my knowledge, they don't even really have a purpose in the game right now. But we're at 52%. Not enough variety in the in there. It's It should be okay. Once the once these two buildings are done, we'll get some more people on honey and we'll be we'll be laughing. I think. Alright, let's go. Yes, sire. Herbs. Um, yo, I'm way behind on the alerts, by the way. Let's get to them. We got uh, Zeno, thanks to the four years. We got uh, Great Northern Moose, thanks to the 14 month resub. We got uh, Lavapel, thanks to the two month sub. Nocturnal, thanks to the prime sub. Nothing says happiness like vegetables. <laughs> Yo, we got uh, we got a, a guard. Thank you for the prime sub. The real undead with the prime sub. Warm warrior. Thanks to the 14 month sub. Bad time. Thanks to the 18 month sub. Mister Sad Boy. Thanks to the five month sub. Freedom pants. Thanks to the 32 month resub. We got Flow Pit. Thanks to the three month sub. Appreciate that, man. Welcome back. We got the Toot Moose with the 13 month sub. Uh, I saw your Twitter. Definitely look at the new Tyler Forerunners. I'd get that over a Bronco. Yeah, no, I was just, uh, I just wanted to see what people thought about them. I'm, I'm still driving the old Jeep. The Forerunners look really cool, though. Aloysius, thanks to the 62 month resub, man. Over five years subscribed. We also got uh, Refactor. Thank you for the tier one sub to the Huntsman. Oh, you know what we should do before we lose all my money? This is what we should do. There. Let's increase the retinue a little bit. Who died? Yeah, we'll do blue pike, and he's just going to be blue, and he's going to have a pike. Uh... Farewell. And we'll do, um... We'll do...
there you go great so now i got th that should that should be good wait can't i buy more oh i pay for my treasury to hire the retinue not for the regional wealth oh whoa no what the hell did i do what the heck did i do Fuck. It's not that big of a deal. We're not that far behind. What what did I do? I accidentally fucked up and uh my brain just exploded. That's what happened. And that goes to the treasury. I can't remember if I did the whole, like, goat thing yet, though. I think I literally just killed these guys and then grabbed the camp, and that was it. And then we... We got, um... Actually, you know what we should do? Instead of putting it to regional yes. wealth, I should put this into the treasury. Yes, I'm gonna take it into my treasury. And then for that we can make a we can make a retinue force where I don't need mercenaries. Yeah, that's the, so that'd be fine. Um, but I did fuck up over here though, which was I think no. I, okay, so we have the dedicated trade for that. We have the goat farms for here. Um, what was I doing over here? Oh, it's the it's the hitching post. For the upgrade to the small thing. There we go. That's what we need. Okay. And we got to order an ox. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to save. Yeah, ox. And then from here, we will hire these dudes. So we'll have all 12. Shit. So it was... Um, Boston. Where's the guy have a pike? Do we got a pike? We got blue pike. Um, we got uh, we got fur furwell, furwell, blue pike. Uh, we got um, hmm hmm hmm, burnt toast. We'll go for uh, Mr. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Did you know that Mr. Rogers was a fucking savage? Um, we'll go. We'll go <laughs> with uh, uh, suit. Yeah, we'll go suit or sweet. And uh, fucking God. <laughs> God. Cotton's lawyer. <laughs> Cotton's lawyer and uh <laughs> sure, after on. There you go. Okay. I can also customize their clothing and stuff, but you guys are probably gonna die, so I can't be asked right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. Um food. Oh yo, the eggs are rolling in, fellas. The eggs are already rolling in. And uh, it's saving it's saving the um, the community. We already got eggs in the market, so I gotta say the hunting has been just absolutely tragic. So yeah, the hunting's been terrible. I'll put the hunter on the um, hunting and berries are just completely done. So I'll put this dude on honey for now. Um, this dude's building this stuff, so. Let's see if we can utilize these bandits or these um, these mercs a little bit more. We got them for another 20 days. So this is going to go... I th honestly, I feel like both of these should just go into the treasury at this point. 
They will. They both will go into the treasury so then I can rehire mercs if and when we get raided. And we've broken through. We've absolutely broken through. Wow. That was, uh, that was really, really, really difficult. Fatigue? I don't care if they die. Oh! It finally happened. It finally happened. A new family moved in. Oh. My. God. Holy shit. I know that doesn't seem... We, that Dude, that has not happened. Did they move in here? Expanded living space. Double the maximum family count for this burgage plot. Sure. The new family... The new family... Maybe the new family can work the trade post. I mean, maybe we just have somebody working. Oh, then we'll put them on the woodcutter's lodge for now. Okay. All right. Let's be quick about this. We only have these guys for another 11 days. Quickly go and get this bandit camp. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Personal best, new family. On this difficulty, absolutely, this is the best we've ever done, for sure. Okay, that's gonna go to the treasury. And this one will go to the treasury as well, for sure. So I can pay for the mercenaries for another month. Okay. Dude, we're just clearing out the land of all the mercs. Are you about to run out of food? We're teetering. We're, we're living life on the edge right now. Eggs and berries, boys. Eggs and berries. All right. And, uh... There's one here. Yes, sire. No, no, spring will come. Spring will come. Run, you morons! Yes, all the houses are... No, 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 we still have room. We got we got room in another house, I think. Oh, yes. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, we're gonna get a... We're gonna have to get a barley field going. That's going to be the thing that we got to do now. Barley. Big barley. Come on now. The level two building is what did it. Yep. The level two building. All right. Well... Uh, I got these guys for another 20 days, but I feel like there's not much like I don't even think I'll be able to run across the map in 20 days So I mean, I'll just kind of like put them over here, but I Think I'll disband them soon. I could keep them on retainer again. I feel like it's been a while since we've been I feel like it's been a while since we've been um, attacked, but Okay, we got 18 roof tiles so these guys can fuck off from there. 
they can start working at the stone quarry. And we can work on the church. Let's do it. Yeah, I think uh, I think the storehouse is coming along, right? We got the we got the granary. We definitely should build the storehouse now. Since we can. All right, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Or you can get rid of one and keep one. Uh, no, I can't because they, they're entire, they're one unit. So I think what I'll do is, I, oh, new family started moving in. Let's go boys. I'm going to break, I'm going to, I'm going to disband them. Cause like, we'll get them out of there. We should build the garrison tower and build up the retinue. That's what we should do. Here, pop off the woodcutter lot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go, people. Pop off the logging camp real quick, jump into the saw pit. And then also, I'm gonna hire an ox. And I'm gonna rock a save because this is we're in a prime prime. We're in a prime position. We're in a prime position right now. Prime position. This is prime. This is prime. This is good. This is good. I know we only have one food, but I'm putting the extra family on the honey honey machine. We have no food right now. How am I in a prime position with no food? This is not okay. Well. Let's um let's get some more chickens. No prime rib. And I'm going to maybe put some more houses like out over here. I only I don't think we got to go crazy. Because, like, I can't, I don't have a whole lot of food into, like, income, so. Ooh. Yeah, maybe something like that would be cool. Because then we get the house, the cottage, the workshop, and the workshop. Oh. 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 No, no, no. That's good. That's, that's, that's good right there. That's perfect. So what the I think this one will make it a farm like a like a vegetable because it has like a large workshop area so we'll just get them to um Yeah, that'll that'll be good. All right. I'm feeling it. What does a cottage do? It expands the size of the family that can work there. So like more people can live in one house right here. There's the cottage. Okay, uh, that's a big raid, by the way. That's a big raid. <laughs> so we need mercenaries, and we need mercenaries now. Um, the flock of crazy geese, I feel, They should be able to make it before the raiders do. Yes, sire. Your orders. Yeah. It's going to be tight. Move it's going to be tight. Yeah, they need to run. They won't make it if they don't run. And they're not my units, so if they die, it's uh, you know it's a fucking risk I'm willing to take. I'm hiring them, you know. Forward. Forward. 
Don't have to pay the dead man. Okay. We got we got the mercenaries in position in time, but the problem is we're definitely gonna have to pay them another 90. I just didn't have enough time to rebuild the retinue. That's it. Okay, I'm on now. Fuck it. Kill them. My liege. Kill them. My liege. Get them, boys. Remember who's paying you the coin. Oh, yeah. I can only spawn on the nearest road. It's okay. Come on, boys. Kill him? We got it. It's easy. We outnumber them by a good chunk. We outnumber them and outarm them, but... I mean, that's a lot of fellas right there. If these guys couldn't, it could please move faster. So far, they are winning. But once we get into the rear, we're good. All right, yeah, we're going to sandwich them now. They're done. They're done. Uh, we get money and influence sometimes. This should just give us influence, though. But these bandits are just raiding us. I'm not too sure what's going to happen next, because it went from one pack of bandits into three packs. So, I feel like eventually we're going to get raided with larger armies, but... Alright. Oh, yeah. And these guys are like, you know what? Let's just cheer. And then when things are starting to get really bad, we'll just run away. And the spear, the spearmen are really, really good in this game. I feel like they're the best unit in the game. Other than the retinue. But even, even still, these guys, the light mercenary spearmen, they're really good. You might not have to pay them a second time. Yeah, I might not. Yeah, they're losing morale. They're like, fuck it. They're like trying to back away a little. I mean, this infantry kind of got fucked up though. All right, there's one more group that needs to be routed, and then that's it. Come on now. Come on. Yes. Okay, I think that's it, and then I can disband them. So I don't have to pay them for the next month. Beautiful. Another save. I'm just going to keep saving. Going to keep saving, boys. Going to keep saving. Wow. All right. So, perfect. Yeah, we're in a we're in a good position. Um so yeah, this this one I'm going to do vegetables and I'm going to expand the living space. This one I'm going to do uh goat sheds. So we can supply the tannery. And then eventually I need to... I'm going to staff this with a trading... I'm going to staff this with a person. And I think I'm going to buy a horse for the trading post. I don't know if it needs a hitching post. It might need a hitching post. Generic storage is full. Oh, the stone cutter is done. 74 out of 50. Um... What was I doing with the stones? Was it the was it the church? Oh yes, okay. All right, we'll go for the uh, we'll go for the logging camp, and then we'll upgrade the church to the stone church. That's really gonna make people happy.
Oh, we do need the hitching post. Fuck. All right, the hitching post can just go back here. Our family is hungry. I, I don't know why though. Like we should like the hunting, the hunting is not going so well. Like I'll put someone on the hunt. No farms. I got no farms yet, but we, we should be able to do some farming soon. No family's ready to assign the ox. All right, this guy goes off the, the sawmill for now. Yeah, we got a lot of problems here at home that I got to focus on. Okay, so the hitching post should be done. The food is a huge issue. We got some eggs. We got some berries. We got a meat. Like, all right, the hitching post is good. You and me both, brother. Yeah, food. Food's a huge... Yeah, the new church is what I'm after. So we just need a few more logs. And uh, we should be really good to go. A couple more logs. And we're ready to go. Import food. It's extremely expensive to import food. Right now. Until I get the perk to do it. Which, like... I'm kind of debating on not actually grabbing that perk. Because I think it does make the game too easy. Because if I, if I don't use that perk, um, I can actually build other regions. So maybe, maybe on this run, I try my best to not pick that perk. Because it, it, yeah, it would... Um, the, the perk is really OP. It makes you not reliant on other regions at all. A new family! Get to the honey hut! You have a policy that also makes people eat less. Maybe that can help temporarily. Does it cut? I'm assuming it costs, um... Oh yeah, I could do a one I could do like a one percent land tax at a one percent teeth. One percent land tax. That's it. One percent. No, it, it decreases approval. One percent tax. 1% Family members joined a, uh, a burgage plot. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Has this man ever been to a church? Ah, yes, pay the church. Monies definitely go to the church. Listen, we're building a bitchin' church right now. Dude, these berries. The honey gets immediately consumed. A new family is moving in. Um, okay. Dude, there's not going to be enough barley, though. There just isn't. Like, in order for us to farm the barley, turn it into the malt, brew it at a brewery, and run a tavern. That's going to be four families. That's going to be four families. Minimum, probably five or six. Import, export time. I just don't want to. I just don't want to, like, work the trade too hard. Because the trade, the trade is busted. But I might have to.
Trades always be busted. Is it not seasonal? The what? The trade? No. Oh, Barry Smallhands was the trading guy. Man, this is taking a long time. Oh, dude, these these uh, supplies from the house I destroyed, you see that? People aren't even going for them. So, this is actually one of the biggest bugs in the game right now, and I really hope they fix it. I reached out to the to the dev on uh, Twitter to explain it, but it's actually it, I actually think this is the biggest bug in the game. Um, basically, when you have a burgage plot that has storage inside, which eventually most of them will, and the house gets demolished or burned down, you can't rebuild a burned down house. And then if the house gets destroyed and the storage pile is there, it, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't delete itself. It's there indefinitely. So this was our fletching hut. Um, and there's a supply pile here for like planks, right? But like no one's really going for the planks. And then once the planks get taken, the supply pile is going to just remain. So it's um, exposed goods. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we should probably put somebody on the storehouse. Let's go, people. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a big problem. Man, the eggs are coming in, but the egg. I feel like we need some more some more eggs. Also, the the berries are coming in. Is uh, like maybe another family needs to jump on the berries real quick. Here, we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get the herb garden. We're gonna upgrade to the herb garden. And then I'm gonna go to materials, and I'm gonna set it to export herbs. And I'm going to pay for a trade route. Because I'm almost positive herbs don't have a purpose in the game. Or if they do, it's very rare that your your citizens get sick. So that should help give us a little bit of income as well. Yeah, the herbs are used to help cure diseased um, people for sickness. Yeah, for sickness. I haven't witnessed anybody get sick. I had, a, I had a city that was alive for 11 years and nobody got sick once. So uh, I'm not too sure if it's in the game yet. So until they, they can just get the herbs from the from the hut and then we'll just sell them. Do you have a bunch of old trade contracts? Um, we have we're not moving down the trade direction yet. We definitely could. These two just make it super OP. But, um... Yeah. I mean, we are playing on a really difficult setting, but I feel like we just broke through the difficult set. Are you selling something you don't mean to? Uh, no, I don't think so. Selling some planks. Where do I know? No, I'm not. Let me see. I'm exporting herbs. I'm exporting some clay. Like, maybe I should chill it on the clay, but I don't have a trade route, so... I'm exporting some firewood, but we still have five months of firewood, so... And nobody really wants to buy my firewood. So... Maybe I should, like, just put that to no trade. I feel like it's just going to be leathers at this point. Breed some sheep. Yeah, we could breed some sheep. Alright, we got another free family. We got another family that moved in. Um. So yeah, I think what what year is it? It's June, but I kind of want the. I kind of want to farm barley soon. Because like I can't upgrade my houses until we have the ale figured out. 
Also, like, this is taking forever. What's going on with this? The small stone church is, like, taking years to build. We need more workers here. Get it built, ready for next spring. They do take a long time delivering materials. Yeah, maybe we get another ox then. Regular food seems to be more pressing than barley. No, 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 barley's more important. Because we won't have enough people to manage a wheat field anyway. Oh! All right, we got a bandits bandit camp in sight. Um, here's what we're going to do. Oh, there's bows in the manor now. So if I build a tower, they should be able to defend it. Wow, people are actually happy now. Yeah, they are because we got rid of the burgers plot level two. That's what was fucking us over. So that's actually for people who haven't played the game yet and are going to play the game on like the hardest difficulty now you know i fucked up you have to really set up things before you're ready to expand i guess all right we're gonna build the garrison tower which also looks fucking sick Oh, it provides 10 garrison space. Maybe I'll put the maybe I'll put the tower up here too. Can I do both? Yeah, might as well do both. Well, I don't know if this actually increases it to Yeah, I don't know. Never mind. We'll just do this for now. You could technically wall the town then? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay. We just gotta wait for him to build this uh, stone church, which is gonna which is gonna take years. Yo, we got Dream State. Thanks to the three months sub. Welcome back. I keep thinking about that hockey puck. Still one of my favorite Tarkov videos to date. What hockey puck? What do you mean? I think I kind of remember what you're talking about. Wanna <laughs> But I, I'm not entirely sure. Yo, we should be able to build more people. We should be able to get more families. I, you can, I can build a wooden wall in this game. It's kind of awkward though, but I can. Alright, so now, with this built... I can build, I can get 24 more dudes. Which, we shall do. So that's all of my money for 19 out of 24. Um, but we're going to go and get more money because I'm going to need money in the bank for mercenaries. So we got, uh, we got, we got Pep. We got Pep. We got Pep. I think we're, we're going to give you the... Uh, we'll just give you the skull cap. The skull cap. Skull cap. We got... Uh, we got Mark. Mark. We got Mark. There you go. All right, all right, all right. There we go. We got, uh, we got Rusty. Oh man, I don't really have a shade of brown, <laughs> you know? That's that's gonna have to do. 
Yeah, we, we I think we need a new Mossy. Pretty sure we we lost out on Mossy. I think we still have Lars though, do we? Yeah, we, Lars is still alive. We'll get Mossy. Just gonna make him purple. We got Mossy. We got Snick. Snickers. We'll make him silver and blue if I can. All right, well, I can't. No browns. There we go. Looks good. We got, uh, what else we got? We got Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> we got unwarmed wedges. Unwarmed. I feel like unwarmed needs to be like. No body armor, just. All right, there we go. We're looking good. And then we got one more. Henry of Scallets. <laughs> Henry of Scallets. There we go. I'm pretty sure those are the Scallets colors, if I recall correctly. Yeah, we got we got uh, we got Cotton's lawyer unless he died. Wait a second, wait. No, he's still there. <laughs> All right, I don't know why that's someone's username, but we it is. Okay, now um, now that we have the band of merry fellas, we are going to rally these guys, and they're gonna go after a um, this bandit camp. This should be really easy work for them, though. They're, they don't have, like, great body armor, but they should be able to handle... In a one-to-one -one fight, they should win. Lord. They should win. Okay. Oh yeah, I can sneak up on the bandits without them seeing me through the uh, through the grasses. All right, let's see how they go. All right, men. You must fight against the local bandits on your own with no help from the archers this time. I'll chop you to pieces. Kill their blood. You make it. There we go. Blood. <laughs> blood. Jesus. Come on, lad. Um. Yeah, we should have this. We should have this. Looking pretty good. I'm just like walking behind. Come on now. Come on, 19 Round fellas. <laughs> oh yeah, we're taking them out quick. Oh, they're bailing already. Oh yes. All right, perfect. So with this, with this retinue, they are good enough. They are good enough to do to deal with the bandit camps on their own, which is actually big. That's nice. I don't have to take a militia to like get off the production lines. They can just handle it themselves. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any more right now, but it looks it looks pretty chill. So this has to go to my treasury, and then we'll send that over here. There we go beautiful so we should have enough money in the bank to hire some mercenaries the next time we get raided 
Oh, they get some experience. Yeah, they get a little experience. 25. I don't really know exactly what happens with the experience, though. You know, so it's fine. Beautiful. Um, in the meantime, we had the family move in. So what are we lacking? Oh, the stone church is almost done. There we go. Stone Church. That's going to make people really happy. Really, really, really happy. Um, so now we need to figure out how are we going to get malt. So we got, we can buy barley, but it's 12 a unit to import. 12. And there's a perk I can get to reduce it, but it's still fucking 12. What about just importing the ale? 18. What about the malt? Where's the malt? Malt's 14. Ooh, I can't, but I can't make a brewery. I can't make a brewery. Because it requires a level two building and we won't have, like, we have to import the beer. It's the only way. So, but nobody, like, there's only one, there's only one guy coming to buy my leathers right now. Maybe I should get another horse? I'm actually not exactly sure what horses do at the trading post. Because this isn't my horse. This is a different horse. Going back to rest. What's he doing? Oh, this is this is it. It is your horse. So this this guy is exporting? Yeah, but no, there's multiple horses. There's loads of horses. Cause like, you know, last time in our last campaign, there was just like hundreds of horses. They weren't mine, but we were still making money. So I don't really know exactly what the horses are for. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna hire, I'm gonna order a new horse. Maybe that might increase the speed in which we export materials. I don't know. You could trade more goods per trip. Wait, what is it, July? I mean, we should, we should be able to hunt a little bit. Oh no, this guy is on hunting. Okay. All right. That's fine. Yo, we got to dream. Oh, oh my lord. I keep thinking about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, Afteron, thanks to the 74 month resub as well. That actually needs some sharpening. Why are we playing the mercs of our own pockets? The peasants should take care of that. Well, things are so like on the edge food wise. I don't want to be taking the peasants away from their jobs, you know? So. That's kind of, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to take him away from the jobs. Um, we should though be able, yeah, no population growth. So we can get more people and the food is kind of moving in an upwards trend right now. So just, just briefly. Just briefly. So I think we can build another couple of homes. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's perfect right there. That's a huge field. That could be good for the veggies. That's, that's, that's massive. The larger the workshop field, the more yield. That's huge. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a big plot for the veggie. Yeah. Is there a reason you're not going for another town? Yeah, there is. I uh, I can barely manage this village right now. 
So, um, that's the biggest reason. So, if I make another town right now, the only way that you can really trade supplies between two towns are called, um, they're called hitching posts. So, it's, uh, but we want meat. Yeah, it, like, I, I definitely want to create another village that's importing other things, but it doesn't make much sense to go for another town when you still have room to expand for one. Yeah, you can only barter. Yeah, and like the barters are like, they're just okay. You can trade for anything that you need. Yeah, what, if you get these two perks here, it's um, it's super OP. The biggest, the here's the, the biggest thing about getting uh, other regions, which we will need, because as you can see on this difficulty, our enemy is expanding they will actually uh, purchase these lands instead of staying dormant. So we need the retinue force from the manor. So each region can have its own manor and each region can have its own force. And those are like the most powerful forces whenever you get them fully armored up. So that's the, like that's probably the most powerful aspect of the game, I feel. Yeah. But wouldn't a second town producing food not solve your problem with the first town? Well, they're not connected for resources. So if I go to another territory, they don't share the resources of the first territory. It's like a completely, it's like starting a completely separate game. They can trade between each other through a barter system. So they can't trade with money or treasury. They can only trade one item to another. So the idea is, you have different regions that are set up for specialties. So, um, you know, one region has a heavy plow and makes bread. And like another region has like trapping with like advanced skinning. And another region's got beekeeping and candles. And they, and they barter their special commodities amongst each other. But the biggest flaw in that system is that the trading post is really powerful. So, the last playthrough, I used the trading post quite a bit. Um, this time, I'm not so sure if I want to utilize it, the perks, because it does kind of make things a lot easier. But since the difficulty is so hard, I still might do it, but I feel like we broke through now. So... Yeah. So it's actually just easier to pick those two trading perks and set imports and exports. So you're making essentially infinite money and then using that money to import um, products from outside territories. Just don't use the OP perk. Yeah, I'm going to try not to. We're going to try not to. I mean, we're still not even leveled up. Like I'm avoiding going to small village right now. Because if when I do, my approval rating is going to go into the negative because we don't have barley and malt and beer. So until we, we're not even like into the, what I would consider the second age yet. We were briefly, but until we get a steady supply of ale, um, I, you know, I can't. And the only way we're going to get steady supply of ale is if we build more exports to pay for the cost of the import. Like if I if I go and get clay, I can buy clay for 11 and I can export roof tiles but only for 8, you know what I mean? So I'm I'm making a loss there without the trade perks. There really isn't anything without the trade perks. There's nothing that I can import and export for money. Hey, yes, but what about the dragon banner? Yo, exporting charcoal would be good. But I need to get another point. That'd be, like, really sweet. Um, another thing is, I feel like honey production in this game is actually too slow. I feel like it's too slow. The conspiracy grows. Thank you. 
Yeah, we're 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 about to have some problems because uh, the berries are about to run up. Put those two extra bee families on a barley crop. Well, it's the fall, so I can't just harvest barley in the fall without barley. I gotta do it in the spring. Pep lived on berries for years. Yeah, well, I mean, I we had a 100% approval rating and no food issues or no problems on our other account, but things are a little bit different on the settings that we're on. Um, and by a little bit different, I mean very different. It's like, a, it almost feels like a completely different game. It's kind of fucking crazy. Yeah, we're like, we have like no, no food. Use HelloFresh. Um, I think we will be ready to go though, to set up. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the more goats we have, the more leathers we can export and the more money that we can get. So maybe we go for another goat for some passive yield, but the food's a problem though. Maybe I just go eggs. I'm just gonna go eggs. Why is it a bread icon? Oh, that just means it's producing not like it's producing some food slowly. Okay. You ordered an ins entire set of golf clubs and you're incredibly impatient. Dude. <laughs> How are you playing this game? Streamer pri privilege? Yes. I streamer privilege the fuck out of this, okay? But this game does come out on April 26th. By uh, 100%. We're going to put the we're going to put the log cutting camp guy on um, on the on the honey temporarily just to see if we can increase the production a little bit. Sweet eggs. Also, this guy's working the storehouse. I mean, I feel like that could be a waste of a roll. Oh, yeah, there's the two horses. Oh, I guess, you know what I could do? We could set up a forestry and start exporting firewood. I just need to find a way to pay for beer in a creative way. We could try that. I mean, I don't know how much people are... Well, charcoal would be way better. Oh, I never really mess with the sheep, though. But I feel like I need a livestock trader. We could try to get some wool. I never really did that the first time. Livestock trader. Let's do that. Leave the sheep alone. Raiders will come in the winter. Get ready. They seem to be odd. Like they seem to be coming every six months. Yeah. We're ready. We're good. We have money for mercenaries. We have. Um, we might. Yeah. We, we should be okay. There you go. Pasture space. Zero out of four. Enables trading livestock with trade points in other settled regions. Wait a second. Does this... Uh, enab oh, wait, wait. Enables trading with visiting traveling merchants and trade points and trading posts in other regions. I wonder if there's a way that I could establish a trading route with another region. When employed, one family member travels to the nearest possible destination to conduct trade. While the other family member 
Members help manage the inventory. If needed, assigned families will automatically set up stalls in the marketplace to sell imported goods. So I wonder if it's cheaper for me to buy products from a closer region that I own. Doesn't really explain that too much. You know what I mean? I don't think it will be, but it would be cool if it was. That would make the trading routes a lot more, um, maybe. I mean, we could try. Export, import. Listen, I don't think I can, I need the sheep, the sheep breeding perk. <laughs> We could sell, dude, selling sheeps would be freaking great, dude. We need the sheep, we need the sheep perk. Okay. Maybe it's time to expand. We could actually grab the sheep perk right away. But that's just going to contribute to regional wealth. I feel like that doesn't really solve my problem. I feel like right now, more people just means more problems. I feel like I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah, three idle families. Yeah, I'm trying to... They're, they're kind of like messing around with some stuff right now. This guy needs to go back on log cutting. Or, well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't even need to go back on the sawmill. The berries are done. The hunting is done. You know what we could do? More honey. Might as well. More honey. Charcoal. Yeah, I mean, in order for me to do the charcoal, though, I need to um, get the perk. And the moment that we upgrade to the next uh, Burgage plot, our approval rating is going to go to like minus 47% or some shit. So I'm not ready. We're not ready. If we can, I, what I need to do is just move in more families. Enough families to, to operate a farm in a malt house. And once that happens, we need more workers here. We should be all right. I think, anyway, we should be okay. Yo, Cynical, thanks to the Prime sub. Thank you. No, no, I'm seeing you guys. I'm seeing you guys on YouTube. I just have ignoring you most of the time, all right? I'm ignoring you. I see you guys. You guys are just not nearly as active. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you're not nearly as active, you guys are having, like, your own conversation, okay? I just, you're there, but... You're not as important. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You are. Kind of. Guys, it doesn't get better than Twitch chat. Yeah, if you want a better chatting experience, click the... I think the link should still be there. Maybe it's not. Hold on. There should be a pop-out link for... Uh, let, me, let me see if it's there. Is it not there? I feel like it's not there today. I feel like it's not there today. I don't remember adding it actually. I'll put it in the description box of the live stream though. Uh no, best way to chat. It's there. Yeah, best way to chat. It's the it's the first line below the stream. It's the pop-out chat. If you're watching on TVs or whatever the heck, yeah, it's fine. But if you're on computer, you should probably click that. Then you just have the pop-out chat. We don't get a, we won't want a better chatting experience. We just want to be noticed with regularity. Oh, well, so does Twitch chat. All right. You guys have that in common. All right. You guys have that in common. You get ignored on Twitch too. Trust me. Yes, you do. Yeah. Twitch chat smells like teenagers though. That's a weird thing to say. Congratulations. You're now on a list and with a, dis yeah. Seems like you're on. Yeah, you're definitely on the list. 100%. That's uh, on a list of material right there. Dude, the bees. Can you? The bees. We got, we got two. We got two people. 
We're good. We got two people, two honey stalls. Can you please start harvesting the honey? We have six eggs to feed the entire village. This chat is full of boomers. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, I wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. I wouldn't have it any other way. Are you selling the honey by chance? No, they're just, they're eating it so quick. I think the honey production is too slow. All right, it's December, so. Yeah, it's December. So in the spring, I think I will try to, uh, actually let's make it now. Barley. I don't think this is going to get us enough malt to, to supply a brewery for year round. But I want to kind of start small because, uh, like if the, if the farm is too big, then, uh, needs to be roughly like one Morgan. Yeah, and I could set this to barley. Right? I could do that one as that, but then we're going to need another one that's that's basically the same size. That's kind of like on rotation. So this one's going to be follow barley follow. So they're going to cycle year by year. Crop cycling. Crop cycling. <laughs> it's deadly singing, by the way. Yo, we got cynical. What's up, man? Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome back. Yeah. <sighs> Dream on. I know Mossy's got pools and hot tubs on his second monitor. <laughs> How do you know that, huh? Fucking hot tubs. Oh, jeez, he just put eyes on Max. This guy just got called out, dude. He just got called out. YouTube just call, calling you out in 4K. Hold on. What if I do... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, watch this. Veggie farms. Look how big those veggie farms are. That should be, that should get some good veg. Can I make them even larger? I feel like, dude, we shouldn't have a problem with veggies after this. That is an, that's an absurd amount of space though. Do minus to make them even larger. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's a good call. There. That's gonna be the veggie farms. That's a lot of veg. Well, we're constantly having food problems right now, so this this we got the barley fields. We'll work on that. Uh no farmhouse. Yeah, we'll build the farmhouse too. No one's going to be working the farmhouse quite yet, though. Seeps? Listen, we'll work on the seeps after, okay? Need more bees? We're, dude, we're, this is it. Whenever you have a place that has bees, you can only have two bees per region. That's it. Honey's a tough one, man. Honey's just... I'm going to be honest. Honey sucks. But without the honey, there was a really good chance that we wouldn't even be able to make it. But we're completely out of food again. We're going to need to make another region that exports food. 
but I don't have anything to barter for it. Eggs? Trades meat for eggs, maybe? Trades meat for... I have no commodities. Leather? Yeah, meat for leather, but why wouldn't they just like make their own leather? There's no other food source other than the eggs from our plots and the honeys. So I feel like it's going to be a t it's going to be a tough winter. Wheat farming? That doesn't happen overnight though. It's already winter time. Don't forget to level the no. Fuck him. These guys got to go right away. Retinue, where are you? Assemble. Assemble the fellas. All right. Now, don't run there, but just do like a nice little casual walk through the... They shouldn't see you walking through the woods. Do a nice little casual walk yes, through the woods here. Sire. All right, we got a free family. But yeah, no, we could do we could do a, a wheat field, two wheat fields. And like a like a one Morgan a one Morgan wheat field. One like two two one Morgan wheat fields. There we go. And then this one will be wheat, follow, wheat. And this one will be follow, wheat, follow. But it's gonna be the next, it's gonna be the next uh, spring that that's gonna get all squared away. So it's gonna take a little bit. Uh, the roads are only really for, oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh no! This is bad! This is bad! This is bad! This is bad! This is really bad! This is really bad! This is really bad! They're they're ambushing us from inside the territory. I don't know if these guys are gonna be able to make it in time. Uh we have a militia though. We have a militia. I, dude, I don't have the tower though, but we do have the militia. We can hit them yes, with. Sire. We have 18 bows. So, if we can do this, we could do this. But the retinue is going to have to take the full brunt of the force, and then the archers are going to have to go into the rear. And we're going to sack. A couple of them will die. I can also, whoa, 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 I can buy more. My lead. I can buy two more. We can do fucking Lothar, Loth, 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 Lothar. And, uh, oh, wait, lo, lo, we'll do lo, lo, lo. L L Lothar and, and me, Mike. <laughs> All right. And fucking Mike, dude. All right, let's go, Mike. Let's go. All right. These guys have to double time it. They gotta double time it. I like they should get here in time. Should actually, they're gonna be running through the other bandit camp. So, uh, this is gonna be tough. I think we can do it though, but this will be this will be challenging.
I wonder if these trees are going to be thick enough. Oh, no, no, no. These trees would be thick enough, though. Or these ones. These ones will be thick enough. I don't think the enemy will see the archers in the trees directly to the left. Alright, walk. Start walking. Start walking. They might. And if they do, we'll figure it out. Oh my god. Where are the mercs? They gotta get here. That's why it's good to have mercenaries on retainer because uh, sometimes they don't spawn close enough. That the mercenaries are just gonna be for if my town, like, if 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 you know what I mean, just in, just as backup. You know, if if we die, they should they should get there in time though. Dude, big exhale. Dude, this is this is hard, okay? Because the because of a bit of a bug with the game right now in my pre-release version. If the town gets lit on fire, there really isn't a way to rebuild it. There will be a way when you guys get your hands on the game, hopefully on April 26 or shortly thereafter, because it is a early access bug. But in my version of the game, you cannot rebuild the burgage plots on houses that have storage. So it is a pretty it's a pretty big problem, but uh you know. There's no indicators for when the units are in the trees. That's right. Uh, th this might not be thick enough. I'm going to say that this probably not going to be thick enough, but we'll see. Yeah, it's going to suck, though, if the other group of bandits go for the archers, because then that's... I want all... Uh, what is it? A HC fifty four. I want all fifty four units on the derp squad, which they are massively outnumbered. But if we can get the archers behind, then that'll be that'll be GG for sure. The enemy has been spotted. Where? Oh. Not good. Oh, they're gonna burn the clay pit? That's fine. Oh, look at that hill. Oh, that would have been sweet. Yeah, I don't like those two guys. Oh no, I'm like split. I'm split pretty good. The other guys didn't go to where I wanted to click. Where's my where's my mercenaries? Oh, they're they're they are doing they're acting real weird right now. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, we got two groups on the flank. I, I don't want them to burn the village. I don't think they'll... You're choking? No, I got to reposition them. They weren't going to come over here. They were going to go this way. Yeah, now they're, now they're moving back over. Okay.
I have to make sure they don't get past me because like when um when my city lights on fire, it fucking you know, it lights. Come on. These guys are running over. All right, here they both are. Uh, there, these guys are close enough to where they can go for this unit. The mercenaries arrived right in time, right on time. Uh oh, where the fuck are they going? I don't know what those guys uh, hopefully the mercenaries will be able to pick them up the mercenaries are getting close to the other guys so we should be okay the other batches of where are they oh shit here they go Come on, brigands, get in there. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. How are we doing over here? Well, that was a short fight for them. Beautiful. We already won, so. But it was the, the main force didn't go that way. They're bailing. They said, screw it. Here's some brigand versus brigand battles. Here we go. Get him. Get him. Yeah, baby. 21 days to spare. Um, 21 days to spare. Maybe they might be able to make it over there. Let me see. We'll set them over there. And I'll just, I'll, uh, we'll put the, the, our troops back in. Hunger! Alright, we're gonna have to start buying food. Like, what's the cheapest food I can buy? Vegetables and eggs. Um. Yeah. There's also meat, though. Meat's good. Meat's good. 12, 12, 12. Meat. I'm going to open up a trade corpse pit. Uh, no, I feel like the battle. I think the villagers should be, they like the villagers shouldn't travel too close unless they're going to the stone pit. I think it should be fine. I guess just in case, maybe I'll put somebody on the corpse pit, but I feel like we should be okay. Um, yeah, but we need to buy food. So I'm going to trade for, for meat for beef where the hell it is deal we'll do a full trade i'm going to establish a permanent trade route and desired surplus um 20 25 how many people do i have 72 that's not going to be enough 
but maybe just an additional 25 pieces of meat uh, should help, uh, you know, give us a little bit of padding. What is the just in case thing? What just in case what? People start, well, just in case uh, the eggs don't get produced or the vegetables don't get produced at the rate that I think they should be. That's why. The full trade probably means you sell uh, over a 25. That's right. So I want to have a minimum of 25. And if I go over 25, we'll just start exporting. I mean, I could just import it for now. But... Yeah. I'll, I'll do it. I'll just do an import. Okay, new families are joining the, the plots over here. The big, the big boy farm plots. Okay. Also, we're making some money off the leathers right now, which is really good. So I got seven, we got seven days left. Bandit camp. All right. We'll put that into my treasury. And then these guys will get disbanded. All right. Perfect. I'm rocking the save. Rocking the save. What? What is it? January? One of the new families will just get assigned to the farmhouse. Uh, the new families should get assigned to the farmhouse. In the spring. Imagine being alive during this time. Yeah. It would have been a little dire, dude. It would have been dire. It, there is team killing in this game. So the archers won't fire their bows if there's a threat of team killing. But you can disable that. So there's an option on the archers that allow you to fire. Oh, no. Bodies do need burial. Keep, all right, get stop stop harvesting the bees and start getting after the corpses. Take a break from harvesting your honey and just carry the dead to the corpse pit. Oh, yo, we just bought 25 meats, no problem. Yo. 25 meats. Uh, why don't we import? We're going to do a full trade on the veggies, actually. Let's do 25 full trade. So when our vegetables are done, then we will start exporting vegetables we don't need. There. That should help. That didn't cost a whole lot of money to get 25 pieces of meat. Yep, there it is. We got another another trade. And we got the 25 veggies just like that. Damn, that was really quick. How close are we to the trade? Oh, that's why. The trade point is literally right there. If I want dude, if I wanted to make this super OP, I would actually move our trade outpost right here. Because um they would just go right there. Whoop and whoop boop. I, maybe I should, but <laughs> that might be a little insane. Okay, so we got 25 veggies. We got 25 meats. I'm going to take a family off the corpse pit. I'm going to put another family on the trading outpost. Take that guy off the, the corpse pit. And, uh... I'm gonna slap this guy onto the farmhouse. Because it's almost time for planting. Winter, year six. Okay. This is heavier than it looks. Yeah, the food supply is, um... 
really hurting. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Yeah, this guy's not selling anything, so I might as well just take him off the. I'll just take him off the hunting. Yeah, we still have bows in storage. We just we just use them, so we're good. We're good. These um the burgage veggie plots will be so good. I'm hoping so. Yeah, they're massive. They're massive veggie plots, but we kind of have to wait a little bit before we can actually benefit from it. Um, we could probably build a couple more plots as well. Yeah, the priority, the, the, food, the, the food field. Really, where we're at right now, the barley is more important, I think. We're kind of teetering on the line of the food, but... This guy can start to forage, because it's going to be March. And uh, I don't think anything needs to be built, so I'll just put the extra person on the farmhouse. All right. Yeah, they're working the farm already. I think with the amount of families that are on this farmhouse, given, like, how reasonably sized the fields are we shouldn't have too much problems without the ox it should be okay should be fine um man maybe you I wonder, I wonder if the, nah, the goat shed, we can't have more goats given the size of the shed, right? I'm actually curious. I'm pretty sure that just works for vegetables. But what happens if I make a farm this size for goats? We'll see. Let's find out. I can buy ox, yeah, but I need the perk for the plow. I don't have the perk for the plow. All right, here. I'm going to do something like this. Okay, hold on. Is there a way I can place an area point? Oh, no, I can only do it this way. Okay, hold on. Now, if I do minus, I wonder if this is going to be all goats. We're about to find out. Instead of just like one or two goats. There's only two goats here. I want to go for the mega goat farm. Do you need a builder? Oh, I do need a builder. Uh, farmer, get off the field, start building. Oh, yeah, look. So, we're good. So, it should be this field and this field. That's it. These two, so it's going to rotate every year. And we can expand that even more, but these should be empty. Sweet. Yeah, they're also planting their veggies right now. Look at that. So, yeah. Hopefully, this solves our problem. Okay. Where's that big-ass plot I built? Here it is. Now, the yield depends on the plot size. I'm hope I'm I think it won't, but I'm hoping it will. Let's see. I hope it's not just one fucking goat for this entire field. Oh no, it is. <laughs> oh, there's two. How about a third? How about a third goat? 
How about a third go? Third go? No. Fuck. That's it. Hey, I'm not sure if you know when placing the plot, you hit the plus or something. No, I did. No, I can. Yep, I can hit the plus and minus. I did for the vegetable farms, so we made them a bit thicker. And I actually, I actually just did that here. But I appreciate the uh, the tip. I'm sure when people pop into the game in on April, someone who read your comment is going to be like, "Oh no shit." Too bad the goats. There's only two of these guys. Start to breed. Seems like there's a bit of a storm popping in here. Okay. You know what? Let's... Ah! In the rain, lightning. Lightning struck the building. They can put it out, though. They can put it out. They can put it out. They can put it out. Oh, they actually rebuilt it. We got it before it completely got destroyed. And they saved it. They saved it. Yeah, because if this... <laughs> oh, that sucks. Sorry, boys. God decided it was not time. It was, it was it's game over for the goats. What are you going to do? Barbecue time. Wait, do I got to rebuild that then? Let me see. Oh yeah, no, there's 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 goats. He's gotta he's gotta get some more some new goats. Yeah, no, we have 53 leathers right now, which is really good. So I can't assign Yeah, I can't assign more horses here. So but the, the hides are doing their job. We're selling hides right now. The barley is planted. They're almost done, the wheat field. I'm going to assign another family to the farmhouse. Actually, I'll assign just another two families. The, the construction family, when they're not working, they should help till the field. All right. He's wondering what you're doing with the dead goats. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're planted. The music changed, why? Look back, the whole place is on fire. Nice fucking field, bro. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Um, we might as well, do we got the, yeah, the, the, the animals are back. So I'm gonna take, uh, since the honey is going so slow anyway, I'm gonna take two people off of here. And we'll slap the two people onto the hunting camp and the two people back onto the berries. Because we might as well, since it's spring, we might as well pick the berries as much as possible. As much as possible. Fill the farmhouse? Well, these two families are perfectly capable of handling 
um, these two small fields. In fact, it's probably overkill. Like, we'll be fine. Because this isn't getting us food right away. The food's got to grow. We can't harvest until the fall. Yeah. Got to build a bakery? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, well, might as well do that now since it's the spring. The most important, though, isn't even making bread. It's our malt house. I'm, th I'm thinking the tavern's probably just going to go somewhere over here. Maybe we can even just build it right now. Yeah, tavern. Here, I'll put, we'll build it there. But why can't I connect it to that? Secret bush in the way. So the tavern's gonna go there. Now, the malt house... We'll just go, I don't know. You go know, like right here. Whoa, what the heck was that? That sounded like a war horn. Oh, a bandit camp was sighted. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. It ain't no problem. Never fear, the band of mighty warriors is here. Actually, since we have 192, we should max these guys out. Let's hire more. So we got Alpiner. We got Alpiner. We got, uh, we got Desert. Me! All right, fine, we got Chris. Just Chris. And just Chris. Right. There's the band of merry morons. Ready to save the day. Look at you guys. The bandits stole our carrots. That's uh, completely unacceptable. So they're going to head over there. We'll check in on them in a little bit. Oh my god, dude. The no running is like so hard to remember. They'll have to they'll have the rest over there. I think by default, running should be disabled. There's probably a way to do that. Okay. Nothing needs to be built right now, so we'll fill up the farmhouse. Or actually, no population growth. Dude. The vegetables are looking pretty good. How do we have more honey now that less people are working at it? How does that make any sense? Okay. Tis be the season. Oh yeah, maybe maybe it's a, maybe this is a seasonal thing. Yeah. It doesn't say that it's seasonal. More fields, more vet, more hot move, maybe proximity to Yeah, maybe 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 maybe. Honey is summer fall. Yeah, maybe it could be. It doesn't specify that, but I guess that makes sense. Oh, I'm out of logs. Uh, in fact, actually, where's the log? Where's the logging ca camp? That's fine. It could be in the middle. Are you going to choose steak and potatoes for dinner or a spoonful of honey? Fucking steak and potatoes, bud. Steak and potatoes. You're right, though. Maybe the, they have preferences. But hey, we're finally getting food variety, though. Yep. 
Yeah, we'll we'll set the meat to import. That's all I'm gonna set it. The vegetables, I think we should be good enough to maintain our own veggies. Oh, where's the fellas? Are they over there yet? Let's go. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Rotating the map like that seems madness to you? Why? More goats? Dude, this is gonna be an easy battle. Easy, easy. Push him! Dude, that looks cool. Come on, give him a stab. Stab him in the kidneys. Oh yeah, this guy just, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There he is, this guy's dead. All right, so we definitely need to put this money into our treasury. 100%, that goes into the treasury. Yo, Tops, where are we putting that hash driveway, though? Yo, thanks to the 19 months sub. Thanks, man. Are right, we putting that into the treasury? All right, fellas. They can run back to... Yes, uh, They can run back. Um, but you know what we can do now that uh, we got some we got some income? In the regional wealth, I think it's time for us to buy some weapons. Oh, never mind. I need the routes. See how expensive these are? There's one perk that sets all these to 25. That's how OP it is. I feel like for the sake of the hardest difficulty, I'm not allowed to take that perk. I think I'm not going to. I know. It's actually busted. It's so broken. I know I can make, um, I know I can make a, a company to make the larger shields. You'll not find, find a All right. Anywhere else. Oh yeah, yeah. We we broken through, Lars. We broken through. We survived the early raids, and uh, things are going a lot better. We're now trying to build up to the point where we can actually. Um, create an alehouse so yeah what we're gonna do is the first level two burgage plot oh wait this did disappear look i don't know how long it took but it, it finally did disappear the fletcher I don't remember the last time we saved. Two minutes ago. That's good. Two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. Now that's a detailed bug report. <laughs> yes, Alright, so that goes to the treasury. Wow, convenient. Yeah, that's why I've been, uh, that's why I've been saving, dude. Yes, I've been saving. The last for some reason today has been a little unstable. The uh, the last couple of days have been great. Today I've been crashing quite a bit. Maybe maybe it's because I have too many saves. That could be what's doing it. I'm gonna delete some of these. Uh, I don't know. This is just speculation at this point. All 
I'm just gonna I, I'm just gonna delete some and then I'll rock a new one. What melts in your mouth? Oh, dude, another bandit camp was sighted. Um, where where's the band? These guys can just move down and deal with that. Okay. Sweet. Um, yeah. What the heck was I doing? Oh, I, uh, I don't even know what the heck I was doing. Maybe building more homes, I think. Oh yeah, the bakery in the mill. Yeah, oh yes, the bakery. So the first thing that we got to build then is going to be uh, 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 an ale house, a brewery. That's going to be the first level two building we build. Kind of want the windmill. There's a bit of a, there's a little bit of a, like a kind of like a cheat that we can do here. There's a remove for, uh, there's also a, there's a, there's this button too. I never really mess with it. Erase shrubbery. Anyway. We're going to do that. And then we'll set the windmill. Right here. Okay. Rip the trees. So we got the windmill, and then there's got to be a community oven. I'll just put the oven right next to it. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. It's July. We got time. Unassigned families need... Oh, yeah. Get out of the farmhouse and start building. Do, do. Oh yeah, here comes the troops. Here comes the troops. Sweep. Name the save and just overwrite it? Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. Burning ovens next to highly flammable grain and flour. Hope that's not a mechanic. <laughs> uh, the only way fires start, from what I can see, are lightning strikes. But, you know, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Combat no- Combat noise? Oh. Nice. <laughs> They're getting good, man. They're getting to the point where I can just send them away to deal with the bandit camp and I don't gotta worry about it. Yeah, the supply spot from the old level two house finally cleared out. Yeah, it took a while. Um, I don't know how long it took for this to finally, maybe they did a little hot patch. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, it finally cleared out. We, I haven't tested one that's been lit on fire, though. I feel like that might be a different story, but... Oh, fuck. This is purely decorative. But I feel like I kind of want... I kind of want it. Dude, I'm popping... Dude, I'm fucking nervous, okay? I'm fucking just popping saves. I'm popping saves, boys. Popping saves. Even though I, have, I don't really want to scum it. I'm, it's more about uh, crashes. 
There is no you you are currently chilling over here. You survived. You're in the you're the dude with the tiny shield. One of them. I think you're not not that one. I think you're I think you're this one or this one. I'll have to double check, but you're still alive. I'm nervous, my lord. We're gonna put that into the treasury for merc mercenaries and send these guys back home. It's how you use the shield is what matters. Yeah, you guys are just clearing out the bandits on the map. That's been your that's been your main job so far. All right, it's almost time to harvest. Almost harvesting time. The berries are drying up. Uh, the wild animals are definitely done. I'm gonna take these two guys off the, the wild animals and just put them back on the honey. Yeah, there's still only two goats on the big house. I feel like um, this should be vegetables, but you know, or this could be our brewery too. But I mean, I don't know. I'll just, I kind of like the way it looks. We'll just kind of keep it. The brewery can be here, like right over this way. Makes sense. We got the tavern. We got the malt house. I might as well put the brewery right on the edge of town. A brewery? A brewery. Brewery. The brewery. Ooh, that looks really wacky. Um, that's fine. A brewery. A brewery. Okay. You can have a dedicated sheep field. I can, yeah. I can have a dedicated sheep field. I don't have the perk that allows the sheep to multiply, which is kind of a weird perk. Because, like, how would they know that the perk wasn't enabled? Are they just not allowed to get it on, I guess? I don't really know how that works, but it just doesn't work. You gotta have to talk with the sheep. All right, perfect. 68 favor. We're almost there. Oh, yeah. We also need another clothing variety. Right. I forgot about that. Shit. Uh, that means that I think we actually do need sheep. But you can't harvest. You can't harvest the wool in the wintertime. Fuck. Damn, I forgot about that. That's a pretty big pasture space. I don't really know. Do the sheep just go into the pasture? Like, when do you get another perk? Well, I'm intentionally not getting perks yet. Um, simply because it's going to make my people unhappy because I'm un I'm I'm unable to fit their needs. So, on the difficulty I'm on, if I'm not able to fit their needs, people will just fucking leave. So, we're kind of just like teetering, trying to get things set up. You need a sheep farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I got the livestock, uh, where is it? The livestock trader? I guess I'm gonna have to have somebody assigned to the livestock trading post. So I'll take one person off the farm real quick and then I'll try to buy import 
four sheeps? Wait a second. But how do you shear the sheep? Is it in, it must be an industry. No? Oh, it's a sheep farm. Oh, they can have up to five sheeps. There we go. Dude, we're looking like a medieval town though. It's looking pretty authentic, okay? We're we're about to have so much vegetables for the winter time. Look, they're harvesting. Do they pick each individual carrot? Look at that. We're gonna be dude, it's perfect. We're gonna have so much food. So much food. Um, maybe we should have another well, just in case there's a... I'm gonna slap another well, like, down over here. There's no water over there, but... Save, good call, good call, good call on the save, good call on the save. Good call, good call, good call. Work area is empty. Well, there goes the berries for the year. I might as well put these guys on. Actually, that's a really good thing for me to do. Why don't we just put all the berry guys on the farmhouse for harvesting? Uh, never mind. They're done. So that means that we can put them. One person can go in the windmill. One person can go in the oven. One person can go in the malt house. Two people can go in the malt house. Oh, that makes complete sense. When the farming's done, we can just take the people off the secondary jobs. Because there's nothing to be done in the, uh, in the oven? <laughs> I mean, on, uh, working the oven. Working the oven. They can work the oven. We'll put one person on the sheeps. Okay, working, uh, working with the sheeps. Working with the sheeps. Um, yeah, we still only have 27 vegetables. What's up with that? Now, yeah, what the hell's up with that? All right. So we only we are only able to get. Uh, I'm gonna expand the size of the pantry. Even though that's wasteful thinking, I don't think we're ever really gonna need it. We still only, oh. Yeah, I think the woodcutter's camp needs to move at this point. There's like no trees nearby. Um, yeah, we'll move you. We'll move you over here. We'll plop you right there. The Woodcutter's Lodge. Right down over there. You said to trade 25 veg? No, no, no. I turned it off. I'm, in, I'm still importing the meat, though. Wait a sec. Oh yeah, we got four breads. We got four breads. Okay. These guys gotta hurry up at the woodcutter's lodge though. We need more work. Okay. Um listen, I'll put two people 
I'll put three people on the woodcutting lodge right now. The farm doesn't need to have this many people. So we're okay. But again, kind of a light barley harvest. Yeah, kind of a kind of a light barley harvest. I don't really know what these guys are doing. These guys are like plowing. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. We got raiders coming. We got raiders coming. Um, we got some mercenaries. I feel like. The flock of crazy geese or the green caps. We can also just get the battle brothers. Actually, maybe we just get the battle brothers. I feel like the battle brothers are fine. The merc bows are awesome. They are very good. I'm just going to go for the battle brothers. It's, che it's cheaper. I don't really know what we're dealing with, though. Well... Now nah, we'll go flock of crazy geese. They're kind of expensive though. Where where did they spawn? So they're gonna be they're definitely gonna be here on time. But I will I will make them run for it though. Oh shit, my guys aren't really nearby. Oh they kind of are. Never mind, they are. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to need, yeah, it's just, it's just another pack of three. I don't think we're going to really need our, um, our villagers to be overly concerned with what's going on. They got to focus on the fuel problem and the food problem. We got a couple wild animals too. So I'm going to take one guy off the honey and put him on the hunting camp. Uh, April 26th. So nine days, Chez. Nine days, dude. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta wait. Yes, sire. Um... This is going to be a problem. They are not going to be here on time. All right. Fuck. They got the they got the fire out. They got the fire out. Pick up the pace. Oh, they put the fire away. They put the fire away. Alright. Come on now. I want to see if I can hide these guys in the woods. I want to see if that actually works. Or is this, does the computer have super spidey strength? Because, uh... Spy, spidey senses. Because, uh... I can't see the bandit icons whenever they're in the woods. So, I wonder if I can hide these guys in the woods. And then uh, if they go for the for the derp squad, that'd be cool. I feel like they're gonna attack. Yeah, I can fight. I can fight as a visit mode, but I don't want to do that just yet, simply because you know I gotta control this because there's a uh, 54 units trying to burn down my village. Damn, those mercenaries are not going to be... Yeah, see, these guys look like they're coming for the archers. 
And it looks like they are. So I'm going to move them out. Burninating the countryside. Burninating the people. Oh yeah, here comes the mercs. I feel like they're almost going to be here on time. All right, fellas. Oh, oh. Fuck it. I think we're just gonna start firing. Push forward. All right, this is good. Quick little flank. Quick little flank. Quick little flank. Where's the other group of bandits? Where are they at? Oh, they're fucked. I'm not even gonna watch that because they're screwed. Oh yeah. Back shots. <laughs> All right, this is the way, dude. This is the way. This is the way. Yeah, going for like going for the early bowman, it was such a good idea. When like we survived the first raid by um, doing only ten bows, we like rushed the Fletcher shop, but had to delete it. Dude, you're not even gonna get there in time, fellas. They're completely fatigued. Crush them! Oh yeah, that's game over. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep. We are... We are good to go. Oh my god. Fellas. This morning, we tried very hard on the hardest possible settings to get our village thriving. And it was tough, man. We had, it took a couple of tries. The beginning of this game, if everything's set to super, well, everything's set to the most difficult setting is brutal. It is a bunch of pauses and micromanagement and very stressful. And it took us three or four tries but eventually, we broke through, and we uh, we we're, we're 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 thriving. We're definitely thriving. Magnificent job. Yeah, I learned a lot from you guys in the chat, and by self-discovery, and uh, three or four tries, like ten crashes. Yeah, but we we finally did it. We have a village that is capable of defending itself and um ready to advance for sure on the hardest settings and i've been seeing a lot of like youtube videos from some of my age of empires friends who've tried these uh, settings themselves and were struggling a little bit but i think we figured it out we got it we got it and i will hopefully be back sometime i think so tomorrow we're going to be playing Gray Zone Warfare at noon, my time. So 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll probably open up with like a little bit, but we'll be playing a lot of Gray Zone Warfare uh, Thursday and Friday. So I will probably be back on the Manor Lords closer to release day, which is going to be on April 26th. Uh, let me just get you guys a, the actual calendar on that. April 26th is not this Friday, but next Friday. So that is when this game releases. Uh, I believe it's gonna be day one game pass as well. Now this game is very early access. There's a lot of features that are not gonna be enabled at the very start. And uh, 
it's got a long way to go but for a single developer game i am really excited i'm really excited to see what they have to offer and i think this is dude this is like this is gonna be good i feel like just like when bandalord came out like it was pretty feature light in a lot of ways but uh it took some time to cook in the oven and it got a lot better and i feel like with this game it's already really good and it's only going to get better and uh i'm pumped so this will probably be a game that i'll probably play a little bit uh around the release day but i'll probably let it cook after that and come back to it in like a year from now you know what i'm saying so i still think it's worth it because i've already played like almost 30 hours <laughs> so keep that in mind i've played a lot already so it's uh it's great i'm having a good time and it's 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 I, i'm really looking forward to the future of this game and what they decide to do with it and potential modding too who knows who knows uh, but that is going to be it for me today, fellas. I want to thank you guys for... Oh, whoops. Right to the right to the exit stream. I want to thank you guys for watching the stream this afternoon um, and this morning. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting the follow button. It will let you know whenever I go live, which is Monday through Friday, starting at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back. Let's pass you guys over to another broadcaster. Let's see who's live. Unless you're on YouTube, then... I'll see, be seeing you guys tomorrow morning. Um, we, oh, we got my man Dan Geese. I'm going to hit you guys with a raid over to Dan for the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. I'll probably be streaming a lot tomorrow. Gray Zone Warfare. It's like Tarkov and Arma had a baby. We're going to be getting into that game tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, we'll see you guys then, okay?